Well, good afternoon, chat. Hopefully things are going well for you, at least if you're in part of the world that's not completely cucked by the government. Oh, what a day. What a day to collect the salt. I just want to lick European tears. Oh, it's going to be good. Can I get an S? Can I get an S in chat to spit on euros? Oh, I, you know, I did a video six months ago talking about this. Had a lot of Europeans show up. Oh, very prim and proper. Drinking their fucking tea with their little top hats and monocles. Telling me they, they knew the future. Oh, Jim, you don't understand. Article 11 and 13 are never going to pass. Uh, a porn license? Never heard of. That's not going to happen either. You stupid fucking Americans. You 56 percenters. You Ameriburgers. Lard-ass rascal scooter riding shotgun loving Americans. You don't know what you're talking about. Never going to happen. Until it totally fucking did happen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happened, Europe? It's a dark day for you, isn't it? Oh, we've got so much to talk about. So much to talk about. I don't... I, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> where, do you, where do you begin with this? Should I be gleeful about it? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, how do we even start this? There's, there's a lot to get to. Uh, let me start off with something simple. What happened to Streamy? I see a lot of people in chat were talking about this leading up to the stream. Some people have super chatted. Some people have asked about it. Uh, there are about four stories going on with Stream Me. Uh, people unfamiliar with it. It was a competitor that was set up to go against Twitch and YouTube as a streaming website. Pretty good. I liked it. Had a lot of features you want there. Had monetization and just a lot of other things. Put your custom emotes in there. Do whatever you wanted, really, as long as it wasn't hardcore pornography or illegal. They were fairly lax about letting you do whatever the fuck you felt like doing. They had a weekly contest to lure people over. Did you know on Stream Me, if you had the top fucking stream over there, they would pay you $600. They had 30 places. You could have a stream with 10 people watching and get paid by this fucking website hundreds of dollars a week just for, just for going over there and streaming. A lot of people familiar with Cosmo from Speedrunning. Narcissa Wright beautiful lady. Now that's where they, they went and hid from the internet. That's where they were streaming. All those fucked up videos of Narcissa and you're wondering, why is this ghoul out in the daylight? Why do they have a camera upon them? I thought monsters were supposed to stay hidden. You can't let the muggles find out about them. Well, Narcissa went over there, streamed and made a fuck ton of money. And then a bunch of other people showed up and they were making a fuck ton of money. People were happy. People were coming to the site, using it, Streaming quite a bit, and then everything went tits up, and they just shut the fucking thing down. Now there are four stories about what happened to Streamy. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you the best lore on it. There are a couple competing theories on what's going on. Competing theory number one: the Streamy staff got docs to fucking back. They had their family's information posted. People were fucking with their wives and their children. And it became too much of a hassle for the investors, and they said, fuck it, we're walking away. Now, that sounds like a great story, but I don't know if I believe it. It's a little too convenient. It's a little too convenient for a couple of different facts. Now, I'd say about three or four weeks back, Ice Poseidon, because, of course, he would be related to this, well, he hasn't been doing very well with his own audience. Now, they started up their own subreddit. They like to shit on him now. Things are not good in the House of Ice. Well, Ice Poseidon decided he was going to make his own website, or he was going to go into some kind of weird venture capital thing, get people to invest, make a streaming website, compete with the big boys. Everybody was psyched about it. Turns out, Streamy might have been involved. They might have given seed money up to $3 million or their technology to help facilitate this. I think it was scuffed.com. I can't remember the exact name. Well, Ice Poseidon, because he's a fucking genius, of course, decides to go on stream and basically tell people it's a Ponzi scheme. Or at least appear to. Oh, it's a, it's a total pyramid, bro. You don't get it. When we get more money from new investors, we pay the old investors. But we're not fucking scamming you. So, <laughs> Ice Poseidon uh, brings a shit ton of bad press on. Streamy, I guess, might be involved. And, uh, you know, things start going badly. I, I don't know if you've kept up with it, but Ice Poseidon had a little visit from the feds. The men in black showed up at his door. A knock, knock, knocking to see what the fuck is going on. Maybe it's because he hacked into the fucking mayor of Tampa's Twitter account? 
Maybe it's because they did some other fucked up shit. Who knows? Who knows why the feds were there? But Stream Me shuts down, and mysteriously, a week later, Ice Poseidon's getting visited by the fucking FBI. I don't know, it's a bit coincidental. Might, might not be anything to it. Who knows? Other competing theory is that Streamy stole the technology they used, was using it without the proper rights and permissions, and got sued. And they're getting sued, and are going to get fucked real good in court. So, Streamy is gone. It's dead. Uh, it kind of sucks. I was streaming over there quite a bit. I did like 50 or 60 fucking streams over there. I was starting to make it into a morning thing, having a lot of fun. Because you could do really whatever you wanted. No, uh, <laughs> no censorship in the chat. Uh, but it is, it's gone and dead. So, I, you know, I've looked at alternatives. I've looked at different websites on what you could use to stream. And I'm fucking stuck on YouTube. Twitch, there's no way. I would get, I've been banned off Twitch before I even streamed on Twitch. I made a fucking account and they banned me immediately. I can't go to Hitbox or whatever reincarnated amalgamation fucking Frankenstein horror show it turned into. Because I got banned for there too. Because I, I uh, streamed the E3 conference of Nintendo, and apparently that's a big no-no. A lot of people have suggested using Russian websites or Japanese websites. I don't think that'll work very well either. I've seen some people attempt to do it and got yanked down for harassment. And if you can't harass and have a little bit of good fun, what's the fucking point? So it's back to YouTube. So that's what happened to Streamy. Take your pick. You've got three different competing theories. I couldn't tell you which one's accurate. If I had to put money on it, I'm going to go with number two. I think they were financially invested in something that I, I just wasn't on the up and up and got entangled with it and it fell apart. Who, know, who knows how that's going to turn out, but uh, Rip and Pepperoni stream me and give them an F if you like to. Uh, they're never coming back. They're gone for good. But that's not, uh, that's not what the stream's about today. I just wanted to get that out of the way because people were asking. The stream today... We're talking about Europeans. We're talking about Article 11 and 13 and all the things that are going on over in Europe, which coincidentally coincide with a lot of things that are happening in Oceania. Is that what they call it? I can't ever fucking pronounce it right. But all the shit that's around Australia. We, like, why don't we just call it sub-Australia? But uh, yeah, a lot of things happening in Kiwiland and Aussie land, oi, oi, oi. So, you know, let's let's jump into it. Now, back in June of last year, I made a video talking about Article 11 and 13, saying how fucking terrible it was going to be when it got implemented, also making some jokes about other things that were going on. And what do you know? Every, every single thing I talked about happened, is currently happening. I know people don't like it when you tell them the truth. They get very upset, call it a black pill. Oh, my God, if you talk about reality, that's a black pill. Well, of course it's depressing. Our reality is shit. We veered off into the wrong dimension. Surrounded by bears that aren't our Berenstein bears. Some kind of fucked up hellscape that we're living in. And everything is going to shit really quickly. Which also coincides with the video I put up about two years ago. Saying everything's going to go to shit really quickly. Uh, so, I, you know, let's start with the porn. Because I saw a lot of fucking Brits. And, uh, you know, this stream is going to cost me. I'll tell you that right now. Every time I shit on Europeans, I lose so many subs. I think the last European stream I did, I lost like a thousand subs. Already up to sub 200 as we're speaking. They cannot handle banter. Europeans are a sensitive fucking people. I've dealt with fucking furries that have more of a <laughs> ability to handle banter than Europeans. I don't know what the fuck the issue is, but apparently that's the reality. So let's talk about the UK specifically, because they love to try to differentiate. You ever try to pin down a fucking Brit talking about all the gay shit that's happening in the European Union and they always sidestep it? Oh, my Brexit. Ooh, my Brexit. Even though that looks like it's going to implode in their face, who knows what the fuck's going to happen? <laughs> you know, it aligns pretty well uh, with uh, the new reality. Call it a joke if you like, but want to know how to fuck uh, a Briton? Uh, get elected to Parliament, apparently. Because their politicians are deep dick and those motherfuckers bear back in it. They're going raw dog. Raw dog on Nigel. Ain't no stopping it. Gift given all day long. But they like to sidestep and say Brexit. So let's talk specifically about the UK. Let's talk about how they're not allowed legally to jack off anymore. What an absurd fucking idea. If you live in the United Kingdom, oh, 
the last bastion of freedom. Oh, we stood up against the Nazis. We don't want that authoritarian government control over us. We're the Brits. Look at us all prim and proper drinking our tea. Oh, that Hitler fellow wants to control us. We're not going to let that happen. <laughs> and now you can't jack off. Starting April 1st, of course, because what better day to celebrate them losing their ability to masturbate than April fucking Fool's Day? British people need a license to touch themselves. If you're in bong land, you need to go down to the newsstand and get permission to ejaculate. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. This is their reality now. If you're in merry old bong land, starting April 1st, this upcoming month, it's, what, a week away, you're going to need to go to the newsstand and get special permission slips so you can watch some chick take a dick up her ass. Oh, you want to watch a little Deep Throat? A cum compilation, my fellow Brit? Oh, <laughs> well, you're going to need to get a special permission slip because Imam Merkel has decreed it. Don't think the EU's tendrils still aren't around you and upon you because now you need permission to do what you've naturally done for years and years and years. Now, you'll hear them say things like, it's unenforceable, it can't possibly be enforced. How would you enforce that? Well, how the fuck do you enforce a television license? You can't even turn on the fucking boob tube. Well, <laughs> that's going to be literal now, because tits are forbidden. You can't even turn on a television without having some fucking cop knock on your door. They put up billboards. They have special vans and shit that hunt you down. So I want you to imagine yourself in the future. Let's say two months from now. Hidden in your closet. I've got a doily over your head or whatever gay shit you use over there to, to put your tea upon. And you're hidden. You're, you're in a deep, dark place. It's a bunker. It's your little refuge from the reality that's now surrounding you. Touching yourself. You've stolen a laptop, so it can't be traced to your identity. You're on your neighbor's Wi-Fi. You're doing everything you can to circumvent the law. And suddenly there's a knock on your door. Oh, God, who is that? It's the police. Open up. You quickly button your pants up and come to the door. And there's Officer Bongston with a fucking UV light. He, may, he scans your hands for signs of semen to see if you've been sexually pleasuring yourself, and then they bring in fucking bloodhounds to search the house for your ejaculate. Lovely. What a great reality that's going to be. <laughs> if you don't have the proper fucking paperwork, your license to masturbate, I don't know what they'll do to you. Maybe they'll throw you in prison. It's going to be funny to find out, though, isn't it? And that's the reality of being British now. Can't even jack off. You know what happens to people when you take away their ability to masturbate? They go fucking crazy. You take sex away from people, and they lose their mind. <laughs> you think America's got spree killers? You motherfuckers are going to be slaughtering each other with sporks, or whatever utensils are still legally available to purchase over there. Oh, a dark day indeed. April 1st. Ugh. I wonder if they're going to make them special individualized licenses, maybe? Like, if you want to watch the BBC, and I'm not talking about British broadcasting, I'm talking about a different BBC. If you want to see that dark, throbbing meat penetrating those little white girls, you're going to need to go down publicly in front of all your neighbors and say, Radio, I'd like one ticket to watch black cocks ripping open white girls. If, if you want to watch anal, you're going to have to put a paper bag over your fucking head. So the local, <laughs> the local school teachers and priests don't know who the fuck you are. And what degenerate shit you're up to in Mary Poppins land. Oh, oh, what's that, sir? You want one special ticket to watch adult cartoons? Now, what kind of adult cartoon would you like to watch? Do you want to watch the, the tentacles that penetrate those schoolgirls? That'll be $5. Now, if you want to go for a twofer, we've got the tentacle rape as well as, well as I don't know, uh, pick something else. Pick some other uh, Japanese girls puking in each other's mouths. I don't know what your kink is, but you're going to have to get a license for it. And if it couldn't get worse, if it couldn't be worse with, with a porn ban in the UK, the fucking European Union 
of course, in all its infinite wisdom, goes forward and okays Article 11 and Article 13. So what is the reality that now faces Europeans? Well, there's the link tax, and then there's the copyright mechanism that's going to be put in place. Now, the link tax, from my understanding, is to protect news organizations. That's how they spun it. That's the bullshit they're selling. So if you, as a YouTuber, well, we're going to use YouTubers as examples because I think you can all relate to that the most. If you're a YouTuber that makes videos talking about news articles, and you're reading more than just a line or the title of the news article, you now have to pay a fee to do so. <laughs> it's a fucking link tax. You want to tweet about it? You want to post about it? You want to comment about it? Make a video about it? It's time to pay that link tax, Brits. It's time to pay that link tax, Frenchie. Oh, all of you. All of you are going to get fucked by a link tax, and it's not going to be pleasant. But that's the lesser of two evils, really. Because it's, I believe, Article 13 is the one that's a real bitch. Now, Article 13, and maybe I'm mixing these two up, they're both awful. They're fucking horrendous. But that's the copyright article. That's the new addendum, the new law that's going to be put in place that's going to savagely fuck Europe in ways we can't even imagine just yet. And you don't need to take my word for it. I want you to think about the reaction of big technology when it comes to this. Take Google, which is owned by Alphabet, which owns YouTube. Now, if you look at Susan w w Wozniak, <laughs> she, she married to Mr. Apple, Wojak, I don't, <laughs> the Polish chick that runs fucking YouTube. If you look at her and the statements that she's made regarding Article 13, you're going to see some deep shits coming over the fucking horizon for Europeans. Now, Google, which is known for being censorous and having a political bias and agenda, you would think would be thrilled by the idea of basically blocking off an entire segment of the internet not having to deal with them. But that's not the reality. They're freaking the fuck out. She's gone on record as stating that they were thinking of basically quarantining the entire continent because they can't deal with the new mechanism for copyrighted material. Even if it's something that would have been fair use before, under the DMCA, now they're thinking, hey, you know, fuck it. We're just going to ban all of you. And not just ban you, and I'm not kidding you, there's an article where she talks about this. I believe it's a, a Google blog, I'll pull it up later on. Not just ban you from creating content, which might have implications of dealing with copyright laws in the first place, but ban you from using the website, period. She's talking about something like Europe contributing, what is it, 36 billion views a month or some shit like that? And talking about how Google is going to lose all of that because they're going to completely cut it the fuck off. Now, she put in some special caveats. She talked about a few specific examples of very large channels being able to work out special deals. So PewDiePie, go subscribe to PewDiePie. Uh, you're not going to have to worry about him. The really big motherfuckers with millions and millions of subs not going to have to worry about them. But I don't know what the cutoff is because they haven't really addressed it. But I can I almost guarantee you, if you don't have at least 100,000 subs and they put into place the plan they've been talking about and speculating about, and this shit really goes through over the next two years, a lot of people are gone. They are gone for good, and they are never coming back. I mean, it, it, on the one hand, it is funny because they've done it to themselves. They allowed oligarchs to take control. Unelected bureaucrats who get to make decisions from on high that aren't even a part of their actual government. Meeting together somewhere and deciding, fuck you, we're going to do it. What are you going to do about it? I, it's just, it's baffling to me. You're going to lose an entire sphere of the internet. I mean, people make a lot of jokes. They say things like, well... You're, you're, you're not going to be able to make YouTube videos. You're not going to be able to shit up 4chan. Poll will finally be free of the Brits, finally be free of the French, finally be free of the Europeans. But you're going to lose that access. I mean, fuck, starting April 1st, at the very least, when you know, regards to the United Kingdom and regards to the Brits, if they need a porn license to look at pornographic material, you now have an ultimate win button in any conversation or argument you ever get into on any social media platform. If you encounter a British person, simply post a pair of tits. By law, they need to flee. <laughs> tits are their kryptonite. If you post some boobs, 
<laughs> the UK government will knock on their door and make sure they have a license to look at those tits. What kind of fucked up clown world reality is this? They're going to completely lose their ability to interact with the rest of the world. And might I remind you, it is the rest of the world. Africa, for as backwards as it is, doesn't have this shit in place. If you live in Africa, you can masturbate all you want and post all the memes you want and nobody's going to do a thing about it. But if you live in Europe, <laughs> home of so many first world civilized nations, you now need fucking permission slips to basically do anything over there. What a fucking nightmare scenario that is. Canada. Oh, Canadians, all that shit you've taken about Justin Trudeau, about your fucking flamboyant PM who's an internal fuck-up. Congratulations, you're no longer at the bottom of the shit heap. Europeans are. Take your pick. Pick a country, throw a fucking dart at the board, and start shitting on them. You never have to listen to another word of their crap ever again. Just remarkable. <laughs> Here's an idea for all the Americans and, oh well, North Americans, South Americans, Africans, Asians, Australians, all you people out there. You want to make some fucking money? Here's my idea. Europeans are fucked. They're off the internet. Go right now and find all the really popular European YouTube videos before the purge happens. Download them and redub them with your new audio. Congratulations, you're going to be rich. All those creative Europeans that spent all that time and money creating videos now illegally can't put those fucking videos up, but you can. You can just redub them and monetize them. And the Europeans aren't even going to be able to watch the videos to see that you're fucking them and taking their content. That's how fucked they are. Welcome. <laughs> that's, that's a Jimco business idea. What are they going to do about it? File a copyright complaint? I don't think so. They probably need a license to do that, too. Oh, yes, chat. Brilliant. Fuck yes. No, I, I'm seeing you. I'm glad that we're, we're on the same wavelength here about how fucked Europe is. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought you guys were going to protest. I thought you were going to put your fucking foot down and say no more. Uh, you know, I saw, I think it was Edward Snowden, of course, uh, tweeting out, uh, saying that they were doing protests in Germany. They'd done some protests in France and a few other places. Uh, nothing, nobody cared. There was even an article that came out today talking about how Swedish uh, Swedish members of the EU accident. Uh, you know what, let me pull this up. I want you to remember something. When you're, when you're thinking about how horrible, how horrible your reality is, I want you to know that Sweden fucked you. This is from Boing Boing. <laughs> Prepare to fucking have your mind blown. This is why Europe is burning. It's because of Sweden. Article 13 will wreck the internet because Swedish MEPs accidentally pushed the wrong voting button. I, like, that, <laughs> okay. Fucking Swedish cucks fucked the entire continent of Europe because they pushed the wrong button when it came time to vote on the Orwellian authoritarian censorship plan. Let me just read a little bit about this. In the EU, if a member of the parliament presses the wrong button on a vote, they can have the record amended to show what their true intention was, but the vote is still binding. Today, the European Parliament voted to pass Directives 11 and 13 by a margin of five votes. But actually, a group of left-leaning Swedish MEPs have revealed that they pressed the wrong button and have asked to have the record corrected. They have issued a statement saying they intended to open a debate on the amendments, but accidentally hit the wrong thing. We lost on a technicality and there is no recourse, they are quoted as saying. This is the most significant piece of internet regulation ever undertaken by a democratic government. And it's fucked because someone pushed the wrong button. It's the Edward Tuffy apocalypse. It would be funny if it didn't make me want to smash my laptop. Sweden fucked all of you. You know all those jokes we made about how cucked that fucking country is? 
a nation that pixelates criminals and then literally whitewashes them because they don't want you to know that immigrants are causing all the crime. A country that's run by feminists who think penises are the ultimate evil. A country where I'm pretty sure they inject soy <laughs> alongside, <laughs> alongside vaccines into your babies to make sure that you are <laughs> just little, little eunuchs. And they, they just force feed you estrogen all throughout your school career. That's Sweden. That Sweden fucked all of you. Europe is on fire because a bunch of Swedish cucks did an oopsie. That's according to Boing Boing. A five-vote margin, which apparently they had enough members. <laughs> they had enough members to swing the vote. And you were super fucked now because they, they had an accident. I think that's, I think that's fitting. I, you know, it's, it's almost fucking beautiful, really. It's like God's up there, and he has the world's greatest sense of humor. And he's like, you know, those poor Europeans, they can't even masturbate without permission anymore. But what would be extra funny when it comes to fucking with them? Oh, I know. I'll take the most cucked nation that exists and have them completely fuck everyone over. Fantastic. Can we get a round of applause? Thank you, Sweden. Thank you. The Caliphate thanks you. Imam Merkel thanks you. Chat, please. Please give me some clapping emojis. We need to celebrate Sweden's contribution to ending everyone's happiness. We need to thank those cucks for finally, finally just segregating an entire continent from the internet. Thank you, Sweden. Thank you so much. Oh, we couldn't have done it without you. You, you have helped facilitate the rise of fucking clown world. That's right. Everybody clap for Sweden. <laughs> All those pissed off Europeans that are currently unsubscribing because I'm laughing at you. Be sure to swing on by Sweden's governmental Twitter accounts. And uh, just congratulate them. They say thank you. Thank you for bending me over for the politicians. I love getting fucked in my ass because your, your delegates are quite literally retarded. Swedish men in government, are literal retards that have fucked us all over because they hit the wrong button. Thank you, Sweden. We thank you for your service. Oh, yeah, a lot, a lot of clapping going on. Oh, beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you, chat. All, the, all these clown world emojis. All these clapping. Uh, how, do you, how do you do that? How do you, how do you fuck up that... Why would they admit it? I would never admit this. If I fucked up on this level, I would go into hiding. <laughs> I would never show my face again. Because everyone would want to fucking kill me. But apparently, they're like, no, fuck it. Let's, uh, let's go give Boing Boing an interview. And tell them, oops, oopsie, might have fucked up a little bit on that one. Beautiful. All right. Got some uh, super chats here. Let me hit some of these. I will read all of them at the end, but I'll go through now and read a select few and get get a poll for the <laughs> get a poll for the chat. Hold on here. Ah, oh, where's this fucking thing? Okay. Uh, from the Bone Zone, Foyk Negers. Uh, I'm sure that's a a cleverly worded uh, puzzle. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're you're getting at, uh, <laughs> but I'm sure we can figure it out if we put our collective brain power together from lucifer love monkey thanks jim i was afraid you died with streaming nope still around and kicking 1776 may let freedom reign motherfuckers retards rise up from mario carter 13 the darkness grows in europe are you jealous oh i'm so jealous i would love to have my my only source of enjoyment my ability to speak with the entire free world stripped from me because a bunch of swedish cucks did an oopsie Autism forums, press A to spit on Europe. How about you press S to shit on it instead? From Mega Killer X, forgive us, Jim, we have sinned. You were forgiven. From Veggie Bad, I know a UK exchange student who constantly talks shit about the US and Donald Trump. Every time I bring up Article 11 and 13, he says it won't happen. I can't wait to duck on, or dunk on his soy freak show. Feel free to dunk on the motherfucker. From Sean Turner, how you doing, Jim? Can we get a quick update on what happened with... 
on what happened to the Ralph retort. And do you think they fell from grace? What can I watch now for entertainment? Uh, well, an update on the Ralph retort. When Streamy went under, they came back over to YouTube. Uh, they're currently streaming over on Memology's channel. I, I do think there's a bit of a fall from grace, I will be honest with you. Uh, Ralph seems to be kind of fighting with his audience, which is never a smart idea. Uh, but he still does his show. As for what you can watch now for entertainment, I, fuck if I know. I've been playing video games. I've just gone back to playing video games and browsing 4chan. I've, I've redirected my efforts and attention. So there, there you go. I, I don't have really a great recommendation for what you can go and watch. From Sean Turner, did you figure out the Who Done It mystery? No, nope, still a mystery. From Trues, should bring Kraut on for commentary. It's his mom's fault after all. Well, no, no, it's not. I, what was she, uh, German, Austrian? Not her fault at all. It's the fucking Swedes that did it. From One Stone, I asked this before, but don't think you ever saw it. Did you ever use mplayer.com back in 99-2000? It was bought by GameSpy. I, I do not remember any service named that. Uh, maybe maybe I ran across it, but it's not it's not uh, getting the noggin jogging, so I couldn't tell you. From Gear 3009, Sargon smugly chuckles as his country goes in flames. Well, I've got great news for you. I think you're going to like this. Uh, Sargon is going to be running for political office. According to UKIP, uh, his men's warehouse suit is going to propel him into a position within the government. So I'm sure, I'm sure our favorite Applebee's waiter is going to totally save Europe. We just need to get Donald Trump to tweet about Gamergate, and shit's going to fix itself. I, I'm looking forward to this. Honest to God, it's like fucking Christmas. Uh, I can't wait to see his political campaign, and it's just going to be so good. So it's going to be so fucking good. Well, wait, will we be able to watch it? See, that's a... Well, he's got like 800,000 subs. He's close to a million. So if this YouTube fucking program goes into place, he still might be around. I don't know. But I, I we'll find some way. Maybe carry your pigeon it out of Europe so we can get updates on his uh, political ambitions. From Ballstar Bruno. It's a beautiful day to watch Europe implode. Rise up, goys. Press S to spit on Europe. From Kenzie Kransoa. It's my, I butchered your name. It's my birthday today, Jim. Can I get a shout out? A happy birthday, Kenzie. From Ballstar Bruno. Guys, maybe if we behave like good pay piggies, then Jim or Daddy Jim won't leave us again. I didn't really I didn't really leave. I was kind of enjoying Streamy, but again, it just it went completely tits up. What are you gonna do? It's like any good service that starts ends up imploding and falling to shit. And it's like a curse of that domain, too. God, fuck, if you're going to make a website, don't don't get the uh, suffix .me. It happened to Vidme, too. Vidme was positioning itself as an alternative to, to YouTube. And it went under as well. Uh, of course, that was because they didn't have the capital to continue hosting all the videos. But I, I don't know what happened with Streamy. Any website that ends in .me fucking falls to pieces. Johnny Depressed. Me give Jim Superberries to ask if he saw Donga's Redemption wrestling video. Also, Captain Marvel sucked Negro cock. Subscribe to PewDiePie. Uh, you know, I, I'll be honest with you. I like shitting on Donga. It's pretty fun. Uh, I like shitting on Monday Matt, too. But I have not been paying attention to those motherfuckers for like a month. Uh, I don't know what Donga's been up to. If he's still living in the trailer park wrestling hobos or whatever the fuck he's up to. Uh, but... I, I couldn't tell you if it's a redemption arc or not with whatever he's doing. Chip Tracy, you make my job bear, er, bearable. N Nibba nerds, rise up. Yeah, rise up, Nibba nerds. Now, see, you could have typed that out how you wanted to type it out if we were still on stream me. But now you got to censor it because YouTube doesn't play that game. Little leaders. Little leaders? I'm probably pronouncing it right. Jim, I think it would be fitting if we opened this evening with the greatest song on earth, the Star Spangled Banner. I will close it out with that. From Fatty Caddy, Hello, Mr. Jim. Does my insistence on you talking about 40K have the opposite effect? I will be talking about 40K tomorrow night on Nick Rikita's stream, in which he is doing a 40K stream and has invited me on. So if you want to hear us talk about 40K, the lore and uh, the back history and our thoughts on all of that shit, uh, tune in tomorrow night. Uh, well, I'll, I'll be guest, uh, guesting on next stream. Uh, Ink Penification. Hey, Spoonie, 
when are you uploading videos, you basketball American? I actually have two videos I've been working off and on on. Uh, one on Yang Gang and the other uh, about monkey torture. I know that's a bit of a, a cock tease. Why, why would I be making a video on monkey torture? Uh, there's a really fucked up... I don't, I don't want to get too into it. I don't want to spoil it. But let's just say that there's a dedicated cult of monkey torture that openly operates on YouTube. And I've got a video coming out about that. Uh, it'll be an X-Files video, and that probably will be up by this Friday. From Gigi Uwu, at least we have a better healthcare system, LOL. I don't think you have a healthcare system. The last I checked, if you broke your arm, you had to wait a week. Just call me Mr. Glacier. Play the boys on wheels, at least I'm not gay. Pinky Culture, USA, USA, USA. I'll read a few more and we'll get back to the stream here. James Bionic, you got a license for that, Muzak. Await America. Hope of Man, Freedom Intensifies, the Caparelica. Where have you been, Potato Nigger? Also, St. Tarrant did nothing wrong. And Zesso, going on the dick show again soon. I haven't uh, I haven't really talked to Masterson. He's got the same problem Lotex does. I don't know if you've ever followed Lotex on Twitter, but any social media account he has, uh, he ends up getting thrown off. So, you know, it's the same kind of with Masterson. Every time he gets an account up and running where you can talk to him, he gets fucking banned. I don't know what it is. I don't know why these particular people can never keep an account, but they always get fucked with. Now, Lotex got shit kicked because he told Baked Alaska he wanted him to wear cement shoes and jump into the ocean. Apparently, that's a death threat, not a joke. And Masterson's got, like, some dedicated A-log that fucks with him. And I don't know why. Uh, there's some backstory to it. I think he's a Maddox fanboy, but he just can't last. He always gets fucking thrown off. It's pretty it's pretty shitty. Uh, okay, and uh, I'll read one more here, and we'll get back to this. From Cameron Bottoms. Oi, mate, you got a license to make these videos. Just kidding, America. Anglo olfactory glands are officially immune to the smell of freedom. I will get back to reading the rest later on. Uh, let's continue in the vein that we're doing. Again, anytime you talk about a subject like this, I, you know, people don't like it and they consider it a black people or a black, black people, a black pill. They look at it, they view it as you being negative, as you being defeatist when you talk about the crazy shit that's happening. But Europe is dealing with all of this shit coming right down on top of their heads. Link taxes, uh, Article 13 about copyright, licenses to be able to masturbate. Uh, you know, even just the UK on its own, all this crazy shit related to laws on what you can and can't do, on what you can own and can't own, on what you can say and can't say. They will just be up your ass about everything. But it's not confined just to them. You know, with the Kiwi killer, right, our, our, our shit-posting Aussie who shit-posted so hard he basically fucked the internet, uh, with his accelerationist plan to basically make people fight each other and bring about even more censorship to, I, I guess, open people's eyes to it. I'm not sure 100%. I haven't read the entire manifesto. But you're in a situation with that where it's affecting a lot of places. You know, at first it was, if you share the video, uh, we're going to talk to you. And this, this morphed, I'd say, in the, the span of 24 hours. I'll give a little backstory for the people unfamiliar. A man live streams himself on Facebook going into a mosque and killing about, I think, 50 people uh, with a boatload of weapons. At the very end of the video, he walks out, shoots a chick in the back of the head, shoots her a few more times, gets in his car and runs her over, and drives to another mosque and shoots them. Uh, so he live streams this on Facebook. Immediately afterwards, uh, Facebook, well, not immediately, they took a fucking hour to take that stream down. An hour after he did it, they removed the stream. And within the span of 24 hours after this event occurred, a lot of weird shit happened really fucking quickly. And it ties into the shit that's going on in Europe. I mean, there's a censorship push happening, and I'd like to talk about it a little bit, uh, because it's going to affect all of us. So within the span of 24 hours, three major things happened in relation to the shooting. One, if you are a website that reposts that video, you will be sent uh, notifications and requests from governments, both foreign and potentially your own, that are working with foreign governments, to remove the content. If you refuse to remove the content, you will be blocked at an ISP level 
from all the people that are using that service. So if you're in New Zealand, if you're in Australia, and let's say website A, it has the video and will let you watch the video, you now can't access the website. Reddit was told by their administrators, all these different subreddits like watch people die and shit like that, they are not allowed to show the video, to post the video, to even really talk about the video. Then things got even crazier. People that watched the video were told by the New Zealand government that they potentially had committed a crime, and if they watched it or shared it, they could go to jail for up to 10 years, and that they were going to be working towards identifying who these people were. Now, I want you to think about that for a minute. Imagine somebody says, holy shit, this guy just went on a spree killing. He fucking live streamed it. Look at this video. And you go and watch that video or share the link with somebody after you've watched it. You could get a fucking prison sentence of 10 years for doing so. That's insane. Now, Josh, the owner of Kiwi Farms, had the video up and available for people to watch on his website, as well as links to other sources to watch it, because I think he couldn't afford the bandwidth. There were too many people were coming to watch it. Uh, the government contacts him, New Zealand contacts him, says, hey, can you, can you take the fucking video down? Uh, he tells them to go fuck themselves. And within, I'd say, three days, uh, three or four articles were put up, had his full picture, you know, a nice, nice mugshot of Josh, had his full name, and uh, one of the articles basically said he's a pedophile, he's a neo-Nazi, he's a criminal, and just just went after him as hard as you can go after somebody. And this was parroted by a bunch of other publications. So either you do what we tell you to do, uh, we're going to have the government interfere with you. If we can't get the government to interfere, interfere with you, we're going to go after the people associated with you, whether they're using your website or your service. And if we can't go after those people, the media is going to write a story basically saying you're a kid fucker and we're going to tell everybody you're a neo-Nazi and try to get you fucking shot or something. I don't know. It's the kind of overreaction that's legitimately insane. And if you've noticed on YouTube, if you go, maybe they fixed it by now, I'm not 100% certain, but for the last, you know, well, since the shooting occurred, if you go and enter a subject and try to search by date, so if you wanted to watch uh, some particular anime and you enter the name of it and then you try to search by last 24 hours, last week, last month, none of that works. The search function on YouTube has been intentionally destroyed by Google, who've put out a public statement saying, they did it on purpose because they're worried people are going to post stuff related to the shooting. And to prevent people from being able to search for it or to upload it before they can act and take it down, they've completely fucked up the entire search function of the fucking website itself. That's how fucked up they are about this. So you've got all this crazy shit going on. Europe dealing with Articles 11 and 13, the Brits dealing with a masturbation license, Aussies and uh, Kiwis dealing with ISPs blocking their access to different content and potentially turning over their information to law enforcement to get them arrested. And YouTube and other companies and sites uh, gimping you know, their own websites, breaking their own websites to prevent you from talking or look, you know, looking into this. And I think all of this plays into kind of a big theme. And I think it's been building up for a while, and this is kind of my overarching point, I guess. 2016 embarrassed a lot of fucking people. When Donald Trump ran for office, everybody thought it was a fucking joke. And the people that really thought it was funny were the heads of big tech companies and probably foreign diplomats and foreign politicians. You saw Twitter and YouTube and Facebook and all these different platforms. They didn't really care about Alex Jones. They didn't really care about conservative opinions. They didn't care about the people that were talking about Donald Trump because he was such a fucking joke to them. And then they saw this groundswell of support of people that were basically shitposting and using memes to help to try to push a guy to the forefront. Now, whether that's actually accurate or not doesn't even matter. It's the perception they have of the events that played out. They see this group of people that talk about this kind of shit, that support this kind of shit, or it can get a message spread very quickly. 
and they see their failure to act at the time as being their own guilt for getting this guy elected who they hate. They hate him. So immediately following the 2016 election, we started to see a lot of fucking changes take place. Google got very, very firm about how they handled content on their platform. Facebook did the same. Twitter did the same. How many times have you seen somebody that uh, uploads or talks about something that's right-leaning get completely fucking disappeared from the internet? They do it quite a bit now, and they're pretty unrepentant about it. So these kind of censorship things that we're seeing play out, whether it's a link tax, Article 13 about copyright, uh, whether it's the New Zealand stuff where they're working with ISPs to block your access from things, whether it's a tech company like Google breaking their own search function, it all relates to the power uh, that they have to do these things, you know, whether it's uh, corporations or governments, and the reasoning behind doing it. It's a never again scenario with them. They don't want to risk what happened in 2016 ever again. And they will fuck us all to prevent it from happening. And not just American politics, foreign politics too. It doesn't really matter what country you're from. They have a clear idea of what they want to allow and what they don't want to allow. And they are purging the internet right now in preparation for the next big election cycle. And I'm, you know, I'm looking around at all this shit happening. And yeah, it is. It's a black pill. It's fucking bleak. It's a very sad reality. But it is absolutely 100% happening. You know, when you look at this implementation of these policies or these different uh, laws that they're trying to enact, people say, well, how are they ever going to enforce them? How are you going to enforce a copyright system like that? Google, YouTube, they can't even handle uh, dealing with their own copyright system. They're overwhelmed by it. So how are they going to deal with it? How are you ever going to enforce, say, a porn ban? How are you, how are you going to deal with that? That's too much. There's not something in place to be able to work with that. They're going to develop the mechanism to do it. It's one hand washing the other. A company, a corporation comes out with some new censorship plan, or they're, they're told they have to by a government, and then they say, oh, hands in the air, how do we do this? Well, this is where the ISPs and other people are probably going to come into play. My guess on what's going to happen next, all these companies are going to say, you're right, governments of the world. We need to be more strict on what we allow to be put onto the internet. We need to be more strict on copyrighted content, on extremist content, on wrong think content. And we're willing to put into place censorship programs. But we need your help because we can't keep a track of it all. So wouldn't it be great <clears throat> if the government implemented, I don't know, a real ID system? Or if there was some kind of law enforcement mechanism that's now in place to work with us so we can easily identify who you are, uh, anonymous shit poster? It's going to get dark, man. It's going to get really shitty. When I did my tech video talking about this six months, or not six months, that was the other video, uh, two years ago, I called it the fucking Alamo because that's really what it is. It's a lost cause. You'll put up a valiant fight, but we are fucked. They, <laughs> there's, how are you going to fight back against it? I mean, here's the reality. You say, uh, if they push censorship more, we'll fight back and we won't let them. Who, who are you going to tell? You can't go through mainstream sources, CNN, MSNBC, fucking newspapers. They don't give a shit what you have to say. They fucking hate you. Remember all those fake news jokes? They don't like you at all. So you got to use the internet. Well, what portion of the internet are you going to use? Are you going to use YouTube? You're banned. Facebook? You're banned. Twitter? You're banned. Are you going to go on Gab? Well, we're going to get their servers shut down. Are you going to go on some alternative site? We're going to pull their funding. Oh, you want to monetize yourself? Oh, nope. Your PayPal's gone. Uh, your, your Patreon's gone. Visa and MasterCard have stepped in. Your bank won't do business with you anymore. That's a real thing that happened uh, to one of the leaders of the Proud Boys. His bank refused to do business with him based on news reports. They're, they're, cutting, your, they're cutting your financial access off. It's, it's insane. So where are you going to go? Oh, you're going to go to your quarantined websites. You're going to go post about it on 4chan. Okay. It's never going to leave 4chan. You can't get a groundswell of support to fight against censorship when you are so censored nobody can hear you screaming about censorship. All these websites are cutting you off. You'll never reach the mass majority of people because they are being insulated from you as we speak. Ah, damn, is that depressing. I know, this should mostly be laughing at Europeans. Don't get me wrong. 
I want to laugh at some Europeans. But the reality of what's coming down the pipeline should scare the shit out of you. Because it's happening everywhere. I, what, what's, the, what's the alternative? Are we going to look to China? Yeah, I did a video talking about that saying, oh, you better speak Mandarin. That was mostly tongue-in-cheek. It's a joke. Uh, but the reality is you've got companies like Tencent that are investing heavily in all these different online services. I look at the Epic Store. Look at a lot of game development. And the Chinese love to censorship. Uh, they, they love to step in and prevent you from saying things and doing things and seeing things they don't like. So when all these foreign nations start working with China and Chinese companies, well, you're going to get fucked anyway. I, what's the alternative? Are we going to go underground? <laughs> Are we going to go on tour like it's fucking AOL dial-up and wait 20 minutes after we post something talking about how shitty the reality we live in is? They... They've been working very hard at this for a while. And I I just, I, I don't know what the solution is, but I can see the problem clearly. And I can see where it's going. And it's going to be a dark day for us all. And I just want you all to remember, as we're living in that apocalyptic, dystopian future, that it really truly began because a Swedish cuck pushed the wrong button. I can't stress that enough. When you're ready to tie that noose around your neck, because you just can't live with how horrible things are, remember, it's Sweden's fault 100%. <laughs> They're the ones responsible for fucking us all. Thank you, Sweden. Beautiful. Whew. Happy times. You enjoying yourself, chat? <laughs> Is that good? If I cheered you up on your 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 uh, Tuesday, it's a nice Tuesday, isn't it? Everything is shit and everything is terrible. <laughs> what a great week! Oh yeah, no, I I I can see some people in chat saying, "Hey, Sweden's going to try to duck the responsibility on this. Don't let them." You see a Swedish flag on 4chan, shit on them. You run into a Swede on social media. Press S to spit. Don't let them forget they're fucking responsible. Especially if you're a European. You've got, I think it's two years before they have to implement this and make it go through all the different individual governments. Maybe not everybody tries to adopt it. Maybe some people pull away because of it. But I guarantee you some countries are going to take it right up the ass. A majority, in fact, will probably take it right up the ass. So thank you, Sweden. Once again, Captain Cuck has come to save the day. I see some people saying, oh, it's, it's World War III coming. Civil War. Oh, they're going to confiscate your guns. The only, the only place it's going to be safe is here in Burgerland. Oh, they love shitting on us. Oh, 56 percenters. Merrimuts. Burgers. Lard ass obese motherfuckers. We're never giving our guns up. Well, we're never giving them up. Everybody else is, though. Right now, there's going to be, I think, legislation getting pushed through in Kiwi Land already happened in Australia in a different unrelated incident, like in the 90s, I believe. They're just coming to take guns. <laughs> what kind of war are you going to fight with sporks? Look at the Brits. They can't even own fucking butter knives. I mean, it's it's reaching ridiculous levels. Have you ever seen those community confiscation things they do? <laughs> Where the British police will post on Twitter about all the dangerous weapons they've taken off the street. And what, what do they end up pulling out? Fucking sticks? Butter knives, wheels, chains. You can, if you buy a pair of scissors or a fucking screwdriver and the neighbor gets suspicious about it, uh, you can have the cops come and talk to you. It's crazy. <laughs> what are you going to fight? Europe especially is fucked. Uh, I mean, I, you know, I can't speak entirely to Australia or New Zealand, but I can say Europe is fucked. You've imported so many immigrants. You've imported so many immigrants and you've taken away your ability to fight and defend yourselves and you've allowed oligarchs to implement laws that are going to make you mute. There was an article two years ago talking about how German police were dealing with what they deemed online extremism. And it actually in the article is quoted as saying that the police visited and arrested people who held illegal opinions. 
That's your reality. Illegal opinions. How the fuck is an opinion illegal? I know it's a sensitive subject over in, in Europe, if you dare to question the Holocaust. But that isn't even what they were questioning. These were other opinions they had. <laughs> there are more things that you can think that can get you arrested for thinking illegally. A lot of people, you know, oh, is that a typo? No, it really isn't. Social media posts people put up and somebody didn't like them. God, what, what happened to our reality? So, something happened to our timeline, to our dimension, that absolutely shitter shattered it. I don't know if somebody built a time machine and we're dealing with the repercussions of their fucking exploration, but something has gone insane. Maybe somebody spiked the world's water supply with LSD. I, I, I don't know what exactly is happening, but people become so compliant and complacent and allowing to have their rights stripped away from them. And it's always very gradual. I mean, that's, you know, when, when you're talking about negative things like this and people refer to it as a black pill, it's because they're taking it in all at once. That's the problem. But it doesn't happen in one single pop. All this terrible shit, all this censorship, all these rights getting stripped, uh, your ability to protest or fight back being taken from you, is taken from you piecemeal, little bit by little bit by little bit, to make it tolerable. They sell it to the mainstream by, you know, keep uh, continually upping it uh, as new forms of hate speech. Oh, well, we don't want you to say this word or that word. And they get a consensus and people agree. And then they, they expand on that until you find yourself getting arrested for not using a proper pronoun. It's, it's that kind of thing. It's very gradual. It's a death by a thousand cuts. Little by little, they bleed you. Little by little, they strip away what makes you whole. Until one day, you're listening to a stream on a Tuesday like today, and you've got some fucking Minnesotan telling you this, and you're like, God damn, that's negative. What a black-pilled asshole. Well, no, it's not, no I'm not black-pilled. It's just I'm kind of telling you the, the, the overall picture of what's happening. And it sucks. God, I miss what the internet used to be. You know, you could do things on the internet you just can't do anymore. And even the restricted things we're still allowed to do right now won't be available for your children. I mean, the reality is they're probably going to grow up on a platform where they have to use a real ID, where they can't call somebody a faggot, where they can't make fun of furries, where they can't say, I think transgenderism is weird, where they can't disagree with a political thought or a social movement or an ideology. And that's not going to be weird to them. And that is weird, or it should be to us. They'll see that as the norm. That's the way things are, and they've always been that way. They won't be able to do the shit we did. I, just even the fun stuff. The shit that's not even politically motivated. That's a left and right divide. Griefing in video games. You can't do that anymore. Look at companies like fucking Blizzard. You go try and do in Blizzard what people used to do in Gary's Mod. Or in Counter-Strike. And you're going to get banned. Fuck. If you make a video of fucking with somebody in Overwatch and you don't even get reported by the people you're fucking with and a Blizzard employee finds a video or a post of you doing that, they ban your account. That's the new norm. But you look back five, ten years ago and <laughs> you could grief the fuck out of people, use hacks, exploits, cheats, teabag them, play sound clips, put obnoxious pornographic images in TF2 matches. It didn't fucking matter. People thought it was cute and funny. Not anymore, though. I don't know what's going to happen to our sense of humor, I'll be honest with you. It's going to be so fucking sanitized, what's the point? You know, I refer to Facebook as Soccer Mom Central, and it's not really true. It's not that the majority of people on Facebook are soccer moms, you know, far from it. But they have to act like soccer moms. I want you to think of how many times you personally have held back from saying what you actually wanted to say because you knew the repercussion was immediately you were going to get banned. Where he wanted to tell some asshole on social media he's a fucking moron, or you wanted to make a response video, or you wanted to post on a forum, or you wanted to do something to express the fact that what you're encountering is fucking stupid or retarded, or it's high faggotry, and you just don't. You have to grin and bear it. That is an awful fucking situation to find yourself in. It's bad enough when a corporation's the one doing it to you. It's even worse when it's implemented by the government. 
So I, I pity children. I'm not talking about millennials. They're seeing the tail end of what was the glory days. I'm talking about the little fuckers that come next. I don't know what their generation is going to be referred to. Probably generation disappointment. Because everything is going to be ruined for them by everyone else. Their millennial parents going along with it. Gen Xers being too lazy to get off our asses and actually stop it. Boomers being so disconnected. They still think you can get a $60,000 job right out of high school. And, and they're going to be sitting there shrugging. Wondering what the fuck happened to the internet. Why everybody talked about how great it was. When YouTube turns into basically a second version of television. And social media is everybody talking about how nice it is to own cats. And oh, we don't go to that 4chan or 8chan place. That's forbidden. My ISP blocked it. And I don't go to Kiwi Farms because Joshua is a pedophile according, or according to British media. And Encyclopedia doesn't, or Dramatica doesn't exist anymore because they can't get server hosting. And Gab was a thing uh, for about a day before it was purged from the internet by the fucking financial institutions that won't allow it to fucking function as a company that competes with other companies. You know, half the reason I like to laugh at the situation Europeans are in right now is because if I don't laugh at them, I get angry for myself and for other people. Because what's happening to them is really happening to all of us. It's just in different degrees. So you tell me, chat. I mean, I'm not, I'm not fucking Nostradamus. I'm not prescient. If I was, I'd be winning the lottery every day. I wouldn't be on YouTube. I'd be in the Bahamas sipping on a fucking uh, margarita, uh, and weighing 500 pounds, and a Hawaiian shirt, not giving a shit about anything. Uh, so I don't, I don't have that amazing foresight. You tell me, what's the solution? How do we fix the internet? More importantly, how do we unfuck the world from what it's become? Because I don't think anybody is looking forward to living in it anymore. Uh, hold on. Let me, let me pull chat up here. Uh, remember, by the way, a little pro tip in case you're new to it. Uh, right above the chat window, you'll see top chat with a little down arrow. If you click live chat, that's where all the naughty people get placed. If you have an opinion they don't like, they put you in live chat. They won't show you in top chat. Top chat is sanitized by the website. Uh, so let's see. A lot of people saying uh, war, uh, death, uh, lots of war, lots of accelerationism, lots of violence, nukes, a lot of 1776s. <laughs> How would you organize that war, chat? Bomb Sweden, good suggestion from a super chat. Might not win anything or fix anything, but probably get you a little bit of revenge when you can't jack off to things or post funny memes. Oh, forgive me, chat. I know I've gone a little bit quiet on you. My uh, throat's a tiny bit sore. So what better solution than smoking a cigarette? Ah, that's delicious. Good old-fashioned filtered cancer. You know, I, of course, smoking is terrible for you. But I do enjoy the fact that I'm probably one of the last generations that'll get to enjoy it. I don't think smoking's going to be around very long. A lot of 1776s. That's what I'm seeing continually coming up. I wish you the best of luck. Again, a lot of the countries that are facing this don't have guns or easy access to guns. I mean, fuck. Uh, again, going to a UK example, I, this story always stuck with me. It was a guy that had his house robbed. A fucking burglar breaks into your house. I want you... This is so fucked up. A guy breaks into your house. You don't know who he is. Is he there to rape your wife? Is he going to fucking shoot you? Is he going to burn it to the ground? Breaks into your house, hurts himself on the glass breaking in, and ends up suing you and winning. Or another case of a guy breaking onto somebody's property. There's a barbed wire fence, gets hurt, sues, and wins. Because you put an obstacle in place that could lead to injury. Even though the person that got injured was somebody who meant to do you harm. What kind of clown world shit is that? <laughs> what are they going to do in the UK? You know, you had rape gangs. 
you had fucking groups of men, foreigners, immigrants, that came to your country to fuck your children. And your local city governments, whatever the fuck they're called over there, but your local governments turned a blind eye to it. Police didn't act on it. Politicians didn't talk about it. The newspapers wouldn't print it. Everybody didn't want to get labeled a racist or intolerant. How do you fight back against public policy like that? That puts you and your children at risk. You know, there's a video going around. I believe it's from France. Of a Muslim man. I, I, I don't know exactly what country he's from, but he's speaking in a foreign dialect. Uh, going up to a little girl. Like a little four or five year old Chinese girl. Seeing how he's going to fuck her. He, he corners this little girl on a playground and says he's going to rape her by Allah's will. He's going to take her and rape her on a playground. And these two fucks film this, put it up on the internet, everybody laughs about it. What were the repercussions for them, do you wonder? Who fought back against that, I wonder? Fucking Christ. When you start looking at these things, it's very depressing. Uh, yeah, Jesse Smollett. Yeah, I, I saw the news about that. Got let go. No charges. Uh, free to go. Uh, deemed innocent. Apparently the prosecutor, uh, who I, I believe was like an Obama aide or intern, decided it was a better idea just to let him go. It's not just Europe or Australia or you know all these other nations and continents that are dealing with shit. You got stuff like that. Guy fakes a hate crime, no fucking punishment. How many times have you seen that? How many times have you seen somebody... Uh, fake a hate crime. A woman on a college campus saying she was raped did it for attention. Oh my god, the synagogue's got a swastika on it. Did it for attention. Black church gets burned to the ground. Did it for attention. Jesse Smollett wants to get beaten up by two Nigerian guys he knows and pays to do it. Innocent, free to go. <laughs> god help you if you're a straight white male. You're totally fucked. You know, you can almost trace that back to Robert Morton Downey Jr., that was a guy that had a talk show in the 80s. And he was he was really rude, very off the cuff, very edgy. Would have fit in very well with today's internet culture, or what's left of it. Uh, but he decided he wanted more attention. So what did he do? <laughs> he fakes an attack on himself. And the beauty of it, how did he get caught? The reason that he actually was held accountable, one, was he wasn't in the current environment we're in now, where people were afraid to call you on your bullshit. But he drew the swastika in a mirror. He, he tried to say that he got roughed up by people. He was held on the ground and beaten by Nazis in the bathroom. The only problem is the fucking swastika was backwards because he drew it on his own forehead in the bathroom mirror like a retard. Beautiful. But somebody does that today, they don't get called out on it. Hey, a little slap on the wrist. Maybe, maybe the local news talks about it for five minutes before moving on to something more interesting. Oh, what a bleak reality. Shit. All right. Let's, uh, I got some super chats to get through. Let's, let's read through some of these. Let's stop the good times. All the happy, fun, warm times talking about how great everything is. Let's read some super chats. All right, just give me a moment here to get caught up. Uh, Nick Riketa sent you a message to join his 40K stream on Wednesday. Yep, uh, I will be there, and I did get the message. Trump Nation, welcome back, sir. You will be asked uh, to comment on certain individuals by idiots that think you work for them. Bird in motion. What the hell, Jim? You start the stream right when my shift at work starts. Well, anyways, back to wage cucking and pleasing my corporate bosses. Boxman2248, we missed you, Papa Jimbo. Jonathan Dewey, Daddy, I missed you. Can't wait for you to pause my nag hole. Foxcat Gaming, Europe shit posted so hard it got vanned from everywhere. No more Aussie shit posting either. Good stuff. James Pesto, hey Jim, I uploaded the conversation we had back in 2017. If you want to listen, check your Facebook messages. I'm not sure what convo that would be. I, I went on a lot of different streams and shows uh, in 2016, 17, and even 18. But I'll, I'll check it out. Claudia Laura or Juarez, Mr. Mediker, you're back. Dante the Lifting Capitalist, that's what those cucks deserve. I'm going to go lift now. From Logan M, Daddy, why did you leave us? Well, I actually went to greener pastures that stream me. A little bit more freedom to do what you like. You know, I will say this. This is baffling. I don't know if a lot of people are aware of what's going on right now with YouTube. I can't tell you why. But YouTube did something that I would describe as good. 
uh, before the system that was in place was you had three strikes and you were out. That was the policy everybody was familiar with. If you got a strike on a video on your channel, you were banned from live streaming for 90 days. If you got two strikes, you were banned from live streaming for 90 days. And on top of that, I think you couldn't upload videos themselves for like two or three weeks. And if you got a third strike, you were out. And it fucked with a lot of people. YouTube, for whatever reason, has changed this policy now. They have a four-step a four step system in place. The first time you fuck up, if you get some kind of complaint related to your account, you get a warning. So there's no strike issued. It's just a warning. It doesn't affect anything. It's a heads up that something fucked up happened and you need to be more diligent. But where it gets really interesting is the first two strikes. If you get a strike now, you're banned from uploading or live streaming for just one week. That's it. If you get two strikes, I think it's two weeks, and that's it. And if you get three strikes, you're, you're gone like you were before. I have no idea why YouTube changed this. Uh, they did it at the end of February. They didn't really announce it very well. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of people talking about it. But from what I understand, that's how the new system is in place, and that's how it functions. So one strike, you can do what you normally did after a week. Two strikes after two weeks. Uh, three strikes, you're fucked. But whatever your first fuck up is, generally, from what I understand, you're given a warning now. Okay, where are we here? Uh, Kill all pedos. Thanks for entertaining content. You're the man. Mobile Crusader, no collusion, no obstruction, no Rama Rama. Maggie Ellis, care to share a cigarette? Well, of course. Her Excellency, in a world of late and gay, only Jim is a hetero and early. Reluctant realist, shout out to Auto Admit, the most autistic law forum in the world. TKV, there's a furry that died from eating too much shit. Messy tales on Twitter? I'm going to have to interrupt Super Chats for that. Is that is that their account? Please tell me their parents talked about this. <laughs> Where's the story on this? How do you die from eating shit? How much shit do you have to physically eat to die from it? These are... We have to... <laughs> how did you do this? Uh, one second, chat. I... I there's got... Please... Where you can't you're 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 blue balling me here. <laughs> How did, is there more info in that? A furry died from eating too much shit. Messy tails. Okay, yeah. Let me see if I can find this. No way. This has to be a joke. Okay. Uh, so, Messy Tales Twitter account says, Things have been rough lately. I'm going to be okay, but it might take a while. I hope you're all doing well and staying messy. Can you can you all guess what Messy Tales relates to? Should I describe the Twitter account in question? That goes by the name Brown Nose Pup? A big, fat, messy GSG Shep? I don't know what that is. It's a furry that likes eating shit and living in shitty diapers. But on March 17th, they get a reply from an uh, account called Classic that says, Unfortunately, Brown Nose Pup, otherwise known as Eric, has died due to overconsumption of feces and lack of nutrients due to the consumption of feces and died of shock from eating feces. <laughs> Someone says, Is this legitimate or a joke? They respond, We were friends in high school. He had an interest in eating shit even back then when we were freshmen. <laughs> I don't know if this is bullshit or not, but I'd like to believe it's real. I, I'm trying to find out more information. Give me a second here. Uh, everybody, if you want to swing by, it's at Messy Tales, M-E-S-S-Y-T-A-I-L-S. And just uh, give, give our brown nose pupper a rip and pepperoni. He ate too much poop and had to go back to his home planet. Oh, poor messy tails. Our little poop eater. Uh, from Jay Isel. For the love of God, Jim, please make a new video. Uh, as I said, videos are upcoming. From Mastima the Dank. Oi, mate, you got a license to beat, you meet. You're nicked, sunshine. Terry J won't, won't be happy until Justin or Jesse Smollett is a wind chime. From Lord Odin. Let Article 13 and 11 please be a reason for continent-wide series of civil wars. 
the fire rises. Hey, Jim, did you know the movie The Dark Knight Rises is commonly known as the Batman movie? Singer Meatball, but Jim, I thought Sargon was going to save the West with his 20-year liberalist plan. Apparently, apparently it's been expanded to 30 years now. Overseer USA, we fought two world wars and endured a cold war for Europe's freedom. Just so they can throw it away. What the fuck? Christian Werdy, wait till you see a European spring. This is nothing. Morning, afternoon, headshot. This Rama Rama song was perfect introduction in teaching my daughter the truth about race and evolution. Thanks. From Haphazard, please, Jim. Poop eating furry, messy tails, Twitter. <laughs> You're going to have to give me more. Is there a forum where they talk about this? Or is it just one dude claiming this guy ate shit so much he died? Uh, Windows 95, obligatory, we did Brexit, watch my game videos, guys. From James Beanick, press G to gas Europe, they are no stranger to it. Ellie Perez, can you slap my ass and call me Obama? Mojave Booth, come check out bitwave.tv, the hot new website built from the ground up to replace stream.me. Sean Fallon, a smug Jim is the best, Jim. Mira Lancaster, take this from a Euro, Europe's going to shit. Digger John, coffee is better than tea. Zemeckis Lebowski, Mommy, YouTube is illegal. I'm going to report you. Oh, let's see. Somebody's got a status update? Let's see what this is. <laughs> what? I didn't... Okay, are there two messy tails? Okay, uh, we've got another update from, from messy tails that simply says on the 18th of March, good news, guys. No, I wasn't dead. I was in a mental institution. <laughs> so our shit eater, who was confirmed to be dead by a high school friend from eating too much poop, is not in fact dead, and said he was put in an insane asylum because his parents more than likely saw him digging out lunch from the toilet and thought that they had created an abomination. Oh, praise the Lord, brown nose pup isn't dead, he's just insane. Who saw that coming? Good to know. Good to know. Thank you for the update. Uh, B-Roll, will you be posting videos more frequently? Uh, yep. Evil Bunny, we get to say I told you so about Article 11 and 13. We warned and warned them, and they just laughed and poked fun at us. Who's laughing now? Euro weenies. Onion Wizard, I miss stream.me. I do too. Gamer Pro, hey Jim, you closet furry. Dog is still doing streams blaming Andy a few days ago on YouTube. Channel Tonka Radio. You couldn't fucking pay me to listen to Tonka. Ninja Work 111, are the Photon streams dead? Uh, you know, I was doing them over at Streamy. I was going to be interviewing the actor who played Mandar, David Stay. Uh, and then it kind of just fucking blew up. And I wasn't really sure where I was going to stream. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I will try to get a hold of David again and see if he'd be willing to, to do the interview. Uh, but, you know, it's been so long, I don't know if he'd still be willing to do it. But I'll see what happens. Iron Wolf Spear, I missed you. The king has returned. I'm not even in the country. I'm on vacation and had to upgrade my plan to see this. I went to the Amazon yesterday. Nihilus Capitalist, Octoon Octoon, her open internet fear. Jim is back and I couldn't be happier. Jim, you're the really only reason I come back here. And finally, from Saturn, uh, Saturn 9 Romantic, the EU are like the Tau. Cyclone, torpedoes, anyone. And I will read more a little bit later on here uh, let's get back to talking about how happy fucking sunshine the world is today ah oh, god damn yeah it's 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 depressing and you know i i think the media especially just all things considered as to why they've been maybe extra vicious or more on point with fucking with people, especially after the New, uh, New Zealand shooting, all of that, mainstream media itself. You know, if you look at what happened with uh, Mueller's report, comes out, no collusion, no charges against Trump. Uh, they all look like asshats, and I'm sure they're pretty pissed about it, and they want to get those fucking frog-loving Twitter users. They want to go after those shit posters, those anonymous bad boys, looking for a little fucking blood. So they're more than happy to oblige writing articles about things that are ta tangentially related. Oh, I bet they jumped at the fucking bit when they heard that uh, the guy that did the shooting posted on 8chan's pull board before he did it. Oh, I bet they're like, oh, we can finally fuck with some people. 
get a little bit of revenge. They say such mean things about us. They make all those fake news jokes about us. Let's just hammer the little fuckers until they scream. Uh, this hurts, all right? That's what's happening to me now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's getting purged. Everybody's getting kicked. It's amazing to me that a majority... Uh, it's amazing to me certain individuals still are around. I, I wouldn't be surprised if the 2020 election comes up and the only motherfucker that can talk about it, stream about it, or make videos about it is Styx Hexenhammer. <laughs> like, I think he's going to be the only one left. I think everybody's going to get shit kicked, and the only political coverage anybody's going to get, uh, at least uh, from center to right, is going to be Styx. Everybody else is going to just be gone. Maybe he's got that Wiccan magic he always talks about. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> it's amusing, I guess, in a way. Uh, no, I, I, I'm reading chat right now. I don't know where's sand. I or, Where's sand? Jesus. My brain's malfunctioning. They're getting to me. I need to put my tinfoil hat on. They're using that brain scrambling ray. I don't know where safe is anymore. I don't know what websites you can... Re You've got image boards. You've really got image boards, and that's about it. And when they're gone, we're all fucked. Uh, you can't... What are you going to go to? Reddit? Face punch? Like, you fucking know your meme? I, I don't know where you're going to go to express yourself or say whatever the fuck you want to say. It's once the image boards go under, it's really bad. A lot of spoon clanks. Yep, I see you, chat. I see you. Ah. Oh. I've depressed myself. I, I started this stream up to shit on Europe. They have a, a little bit of a laugh at uh, the Brits and the French and everybody else. And I'm just, I've depressed myself now. It's just, it's the depressing thing to talk about. Especially when the realization that there aren't a lot of viable, or viable solutions out there really kind of hits you. When you really think through it about what you can do uh, to circumvent it or to counteract it, uh, when it becomes apparent there's not a lot, uh, it's a very depressing thing to deal with. Is that what we need to do, chat? Gamers rise up? That's it. We need Gamergate 3. Gamer Gamergate 3, The Reckoning. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get the whores out of video games. Once we get these women off our video game consoles, once these bimbos aren't playing Overwatch anymore... The internet's safe, guys. That's our plan. Gamers rise up. Bottom text that shit. You know what I'm saying? We're all a little bit Joker here. And the fucking Stacys and the Veronicas. You know what I'm talking about. Get off my video games. Go home, gamer girl. Gamergate 3 The Reckoning is here. Yes, Kenny, or Kemi, uh, we do live in a society. That is correct. We live in a society, gamer girls. The reckoning is upon you. The retards have risen up. Take your hands off my Tetris, whore. <laughs> it's not meant for you. There's a testosterone limit you must reach before you touch my precious video game. <laughs> I'm, I've, I've, I, I'm sorry, Chad. <sighs> Meant to be a fun stream. Meant to laugh at Europe. Things have gotten a bit depressing. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna read through the super chats. We'll, we'll jump around from subject to subject. Talk about some fun stuff. You know, again, this is why I miss stream me. We went through the IGN dating show. They have a fucking dating show. IGN used to do where virgins would show up at conventions and they would make them talk to each other and then they would take the biggest rejects and losers and make them stand against a wall of shame. And it was the saddest fucking thing you can imagine. We watched a bunch of that. Watched a horse fucking documentary. Couldn't do that on YouTube. Watched Photon, the best 80s television you've never heard of. So I've got to readjust to YouTube. It's been a while. I don't think I've streamed over here for 
half a year, six months, seven months maybe. So we'll we'll jump around. Uh, Jason Scott, hey Medicare, how's your night going? My American, going all right. Jack Paul, you're still awful at Mortal Kombat, Nibba. I'm the victor at Mortal Kombat. I bodied Ralph's ass seven to zero. Oh. Powell Lizick, what do you think about Jesse Smollett walking almost free? Think it's bullshit. Fatty Caddy feels fucking good. Mr. Jim watching the world burn as Atlantis sinks under my feet. Kenshi891, glad to have my favorite potato nagger back. Mandar stream when? Bad nut. Hey, Medicare, I'm British. I woke up today and found I had a cunt for a face. I don't need money anymore, so have it. Now I'm going to punch myself to death. Uh, best of luck, bad nut. Dave Martell, we're going to build a bog and the sodomites are going to pay for it. Press 9 to hail Woten. Truths, prosecutors dropping charges on Samolette. Yep, a lot of people talking about it. I'm actually surprised it happened, given the amount of coverage and how bad it looked. But what are you going to do when the prosecutor is basically in Smollett's camp? Doing Boeing 1000. Riku is the best husband do. And he loves Jane Ann very much. Shabbat Shalom. Arcade Outpost, I got killed and had to move. Please chill out care, or Arcade Outpost on YouTube and DLive. Rip, stream.me and me.me. Make a horror show. Hey, Jim, I sent you a super chat about streaming with me and you told me to talk to a friend on Twitter. He hasn't responded. Do you still want to? Uh, yeah, I, I kind of moved over to Streamy and was dealing with that, but uh, hit my friend up again at Mr. Antibully on Twitter, and we'll see if we can get that set up. Luric L., what about the Johnsons? I hear something strange. Yeah, God, I wish we could have watched that. Uh, there's something strange about the Johnsons is a video that's up on YouTube. You can find it if you go looking for it. It's about a half an hour long. <laughs> it's about a son that rapes his father. A pre He's like 11? It's about an 11-year-old boy that rapes his dad continually for years. And it, <laughs> why don't should I spoil the ending? The father kills himself by, I believe he runs into traffic. Dad can't take getting butt-fucked by his kid, so he throws himself in front of a car. Uh, you're not, that's, that's uh, very unique entertainment. Uh, Copa, or Koopa Crew, I thought Sargon was going to stop this. Uh, didn't we all? Space Sanctum, N-word. KTTK, we return to the gut retort streams. Uh, no, I'm just kind of working on videos and doing my own thing. Tiberian Fiend, try Africa. It's run by gooks who don't know any better. Did you know gaming? I've got some that don't have messages. Uh, thank you for the donations. Alex F., again, another one without a message. Maybe, I don't know if YouTube is removing them. Hurry up and wait. Are you a psyker or something? You were right about furries. You were right about Donga and now 11 and 13. Damn, you're from this future or some shit. Uh, well, the easiest way to predict the future is to tell a joke. Because more than likely, in this fucking clown world in which we inhabit, whatever your punchline is will be tomorrow's reality. From Dave Martell, we're going to build a bog and the sodomites are going to pay for it. Or pay for it. Again, press 9 to hail Woden. Scam likely, Jim Jim is the opiate of the autist. The future is trans. Traps will replace women. Artif artificial wombs coming. Where is your god now? George Orwell was right. And we didn't listen. Page fault. I bet Jews... Uh, I bet Jews did not see Article 13 coming. Oh, I bet Jew did not see Article 13 coming. From Trev, Jesse Smollett indicted for ties with a rope. Elden the Blue. Hey, Medicare, just wanted to hear your opinion on Deep State. The last week was shown they ride the short bus. They spread out over one guy and they believe their own lies. They can't even keep a secret. Who is the guy? I did a video, uh, double or Agent 00 Dipshit, talking about a former CIA agent who would go on tirades on, like, social media. Uh, this was right around the time that, F, you know, FBI agents, CIA agents are getting getting a lot of shit for sending text, message to, or text messages to each other, talking about how they're going to misuse their power to go after political, uh, I guess, adversaries. And this guy was bragging about it as a former deep state member. Uh, so no, it would not surprise me that they are dumb as pig shit uh, because the ones that seem to publicly talk about being in deep state and having done deep state things are handicapped mentally. In fact, I would almost guess people in the FBI and CIA that aren't pig shit retarded hate motherfuckers like that because they're, they're their version of autistic shitposters who can't stay quiet. 
Hurry up and wait, man at newsstand. I'd like a license for black midget female fart porn, please. Uh, Ron Sun. The Europeans are out of luck, but at least we Americans have potato blumpf to give money to Israel. Well, maybe not for long. Yang Gang 2020. Let's get that bag, boys. I am of the personal opinion that Yang Gang is a <laughs> is a uh, fucking astroturfing campaign. And uh, I, I have my supporting evidence being their fucking discords, which have messages from the political campaign talking about official meme use and authorized memeing. <laughs> so I'll save that for the, the Yang Gang video. Hank J. Wimbledon, Soygon will fix this when he becomes PM in GG 3.0. Splassen, did you hear about the Uzbit Ut Tarir here in Denmark, Jimbo? Probably not if I can't pronounce it. Considering making a Chris or Christchurch 2.0 from Tara Goomby, fuck muzzies, love you, Jim. Hurry up and wait. Sargon did 4119. Soy melts internet freedom. The Onion Central let Europe burn. That's how they like it. From Larry Banks, how long do you think Sargon will last from him wanting to go into Parliament and how the articles will affect his channel? And how will he react to it? I, I don't know. Like I said earlier, I, I think certain channels that are of a certain size will be fine. Uh, I think if you're a small guy, you're fucked. Which is sad, because a lot of good content comes from people that don't have big channels. A lot of funny shit comes from people that put up shit posting videos. Or just do their own thing, but don't have like a, a large reach. And to think that they're going to be segregated from everybody else, or maybe entirely removed, uh, is kind of bullshit. And it sucks that the people that already have a leg up, as far as viewership goes, will consolidate that. I mean, if you're a European and you've got millions of subs... You're going to be even bigger now because you're not competing against any other Europeans. You're the one left on the platform. Uh, Mojave Booth, if you like SPCC, there's a fan site with lots of useless features. <laughs> Useful features for waiting out the dormancy at SPCC.live. Archives, transcription of archives, clips, and more. Joshua Moon, any thoughts on how New Zealand government was trying to police the internet and how it blew up in their faces? Or how journals lied that Tarrant was a Kiwi farmer. I actually touched on that earlier. Uh, where are we here? Hustata, it's bullshit. Sort of funny, but it pisses me off. This was allowed to happen any to anyone, anywhere. I suspect this isn't the end. I feel like I'm reading a lot of super chats here. So let's take a small break. Give me a moment to try to find our shit-eating furry. And see if I can find more about that. I mean... <laughs> He's put in an insane asylum. So, I, why? Oh, I just, I'd like to picture him in his fursuit with his face in the toilet. Just imagine some fucking 400 pound, 20 year old neat in a hot, sweaty, dirty, unwashed fursuit with his face literally in the toilet bowl, just eating shit like a fat chick at a buffet. And his parents walk in on that. That's how I imagine it went down. I can't confirm that, but that's my suspi my suspicion. All right. We're going to take a small break. I'm going to go grab a drink, and we will talk about more funny internet shit while we still legally can before we're all censored and butt-fucked by uh, the authorities. And I'll put on a little music here. A little, a little bit of music they liked over at Stream Me. I don't know. It's the... God, I can't even do pulls over here. That was another feature I liked. They built pull functionality into chat so I could pull you and ask you. Uh, I, okay, you tell me, chat. What should the break music be? Do you want the fuck anime song? Press 1 if you want the fuck anime song. Press 2 if you want the pro anime song. Do do we hate anime? 1 if you do. Do you like it? 2 if you do. And that will be our song selection while I go get a fucking drink and rest my smokers of vocal cords. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of numbers. You know, it's, it's fairly close, but I think fuck anime might win this one. Got a lot of ones. All right, chat demanded it. Here's a little bit of fuck anime while I go get myself a drink. Anime is gay, how about a 
jack through the race Anime is gay, ripping any, I don't care you're gay If you're way too anime, then you're probably a gay If you are a gay, step back, stay away Anime is gay, it's in Japanese anime People on the internet are turned on by some anime Anime is weird because hentai is a sin And if you talk in anime, I'll shoot you in the shin Anime is gay, anime is gay, I be repeating words like it's heading Groundhog Day S -s Sonic says, anime is a sin, it has to go in the bin Anime is gay, anime is gay, anime can you please go away Anime is the super triple mega gate Anime should really go away An -an Anime is made by the Japanese, I could get a neurological disease Anime is gay Anime is gay, hop out of the jag, do the race Anime is gay, whipping nanny, I don't care gay If you like Japanese cartoons, then you'll probably yard gay Anime, just stay away, I hope you die in a cave If anime was a real person, he would be dead Who gonna shot anime in the freaking head? Japanese people should stop making anime Anime is a problem in the USA Okay, Chad. I hope you enjoyed your musical selection. All right. A little opening song called Fuck Anime. Always a nice little ditty. I, you know, I, I've, I've been looking for a minute or so here. I'm not seeing any more about our, our boy Messy Tales. Uh, if I'd known ahead of time, we've done a little background research to find our shit-eating insane asylum patient. Our fursuiter gone furious. <laughs> <laughs> our little uh, tail-wagging Mad Hatter himself, but uh, it's going to have to be a mystery for now. Maybe, maybe I'll find out more. We can do a little update and explore the wonderful world of a shit-eating furry that got put in a nut house. Uh, but for, for now, it'll have to remain a mystery. What can I say? All right. Uh, let's see. Where did I leave off here? Uh, Hustada, it's bullshit. Sort of funny, but it pisses me off that this was allowed to happen to anyone anywhere. Oh, I've read that one. Magos Exlap or Extrapolator Arc Durkus. Oi, do you have a license to look at those tits, mate? CJ Man 2112, I will understand if you don't want to talk about it, but what's your opinion on Ralph and Friends? I kind of already gave it. I haven't really watched the Killstream, I'd say, in like the last month or so. I've been kind of preoccupied with my own shit. Uh, I, I know there's a lot of crazy shit going on. A lot, of, a lot of fighting back and forth. Uh, I think it's probably a bad idea to turn on your audience. It doesn't work out for anybody. It didn't work out for Baked. Uh, and I would not recommend doing that. A again, the formula is pretty straightforward. Put on a show, read the Superberries, and call it a night. <laughs> it's it's kind of step one, step two. Uh, the Vile Delinquent. How will this affect Americans in Europe for whatever reason? I don't think it'll affect you, to be honest. The exceptional detective, Sargon will be purged. Oh no. Exploit er, exploding printy at work. The Brits are going to recolonize Africa for porn. Vizix. Jim, how long do you think until the Orwellian push starts to affect the U.S.? Also, thanks for the quality entertainment. I'd say probably in the next two or three years. It's going to be really heavy to the push-up to the 2020 election cycle and during that election cycle. And, yeah. I, we're, we're on the last legs. What you've known and enjoyed about the internet and how you functioned on the internet is going to change uh, pretty drastically. Uh, I, I think we're past the tipping point or the point of no return. You know, I always suspected that you had different interests working towards what is essentially a common goal, a kind of a um, serendipitous conspiracy, where they didn't all set out at once to achieve the same thing, but kind of while they were working towards their own end, saw that each were aligned towards a similar goal and decided to, to support each other. Uh, forces like governments, uh, corporations, and of course, useful idiots who, who want weird totalitarian, authoritarian, uh, Orwellian shit put in place. Uh, and if it serves whatever their particular political bias is, they'll throw their weight behind it. Uh, but yeah, I, I'd say we've got two to three years before it gets really shitty. Uh, Talon Silverbane, I'm from England. Can I claim refugee from the EU? I, I don't believe you can. 
They are doing these to get rid of independent reports to, and to a lesser extent, YouTubers that criticize them. This is deliberate of them to do this. That's Larry Banks. Uh, from that Gomba, we are the Sweetie Squad and we didn't do nothing. Sorsa Pelosi, Vidun Sved Pellet. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. Guns down in hail. You still going to do that 40K stream with Nick? Uh, yep, like I said, it, I believe he told me it's tomorrow. So tomorrow evening, I will be with Nick Riccata to talk about 40 or Warhammer 40K, uh, the universe, the lore, uh, all that shit. So that should be fun. I, I can't remember what the start time he said. I believe it's late evening. Uh, and he said he was going to throw me a link. So when he does it, uh, you know what? Let me just check now. I, I know he told me the start time of it. I'll just check now. Uh, yep, uh, doing a 40K stream on Wednesday night, uh, 11 p.m. Central. So tomorrow evening at 11 p.m. Central, uh, there will be a Warhammer 40K stream on Nick uh, Riqueda's YouTube channel. So there you go. Uh, Cody Rush just tweeted, or just tweeted, super chatted. I've been watching your videos for three months trying to catch you live, and I happen to catch you while you're making the Ross Pedo videos. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, you're awesome, man. Thank you very much. I, I hate how this fucking... This is another thing I miss about Streamy. It's just their system was a lot better. I, I don't know. Made uh, made it easier to do a lot of this shit. Okay. A bird in motion update. They sent me home early so I can watch. Uh, congratulations. Crimson Mile, they killing my comments. Jim, we must take over the boomer rot GOP. No one is coming to save us. Uh, we are on our own. That is very much true. Mariner, 1712. Jim, remember a black pill vid from the... Uh, from the W era called They Want Your Soul. I used to think that that was ending was a Doomer shitpost, but it's probably more altruistic than what's actually going to happen. Uh, very true. Larry Banks, go for number two. Damon Darwin, love your vids. First time being able to donate. From Chris S, glad to see you're live. Let the darkness grow. Foxman2248, any plans to do more deviance? Yeah, you know, I'd like to return to that. Uh, deviance and uh, internet insanity. Uh, the next video coming up, like I said, is an X-Files talking about the monkey torture cult. Uh, and then probably a video on the Yang Gang shit. And then, more than likely, I'll return to doing Internet Insanity and Deviance. Anthony Wildman, here's your neat bucks. Max Smith, Clown World 2020, gamers, rise up, get that bag. Rainbow Train Station, hey Jim, I sent a five buck chat, did it include text? I'll have to look down if you did, I'll, I'll tell you in a second. From Yeagerbaum, I think we are entering George Orwell's 1984. Story was supposed to be a warning, not a guide. From Mike Thomas, Firefox and Android sucks, but it's better than paying YouTube app just for background listening. Medicar Fembot, guts rise up. He's too busy to watch right now. Ivan Faza, YouTube giving away two ba or $2 super berries for free to YouTube premium members. I didn't even know they were... I don't understand the point. Can somebody explain this to me? With this YouTube red shit, YouTube premium, I don't get it. So, it does what Adblock does, right? But you pay for it, which is weird. I mean, if Adblock exists to block ads, but you can use YouTube Red or Premium or whatever the fuck it's called to block ads, why would you choose, uh, of those two choices, why would you go with the one you have to pay for when Adblock is completely free? I mean, yeah, I get it. You get uh, exclusive YouTube-made shows with YouTube Red or Premium or whatever the fuck they call it now, but adblock costs nothing. Maybe that's why they're giving away free money. I I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, where are we here? Uh, Carrera Sky, Sir Oswald or er, Sir Oswald Mosley tried to save us bongs. Now get fucked. Thomas Gay, two world wars and now we destroyed the internet. I'm sorry. Any chance I can make this good? I demonstrated two times for fuck's sakes. They simply ignore. Ryan Mazer. Can we build mesh networks or something? You know, Ars Technica had an article about mesh networking like four years ago. You want to talk about, uh, I don't know who wrote the article, but you want to talk about being like prescient, you know, having your, your finger on the pulse of shit that's to come. Whoever wrote that article was talking about kind of the situation we're finding ourselves in and talked about how they thought the viable solution, the workaround, was going to be kind of a grassroots mesh network. I, I wish I could remember the name of the specific article or when exactly it was written, but I, I know ours covered it and talked about it uh, at pretty good length 
I think it's when uh, Apple Bomb was talking about all the weird shit the NSA was doing, and a lot of like the tech reporters were getting freaked out. You know, kind of when he initially came on the scene to talk about it. So maybe like three, four years ago. Elron Humperdinck, Jesse embarrassed Fed, no backlash. That's a first. Uncle Tom's Cabin Boy, we ever play Soul Calibur Six? It's very good. I'm currently playing Shadows Die twice, and dying a fuck ton more than just simply twice. I I'm spastic when I play that game. Uh, like Bloodborne and all the Souls games, you could kind of rough your way through it, but with this game, it feels like um. If you, if you don't really comprehend the system of fighting, you're fucked. And my old retarded ass, it's like watching somebody try to do a QTE uh, without actually seeing the button prompts. You know, that rock, paper, scissors, jump, dodge, deflect. I just, I can't, my brain can't function and work it out. I got cock blocked at uh, basically between a mini boss a uh, progress check and an actual boss, or what I assume is an actual boss. Uh, the guy that spits poison, you know, the drunk guy uh, who just wrecked my shit and treated me like a, a $5 whore. And then the ogre, who I, I eventually, I did beat him. I mean, you just got to be patient. Uh, but then immediately I run into like some samurai general who just fucks me while I get shot in the back with muskets. So that's what I'm currently playing, not uh, Soul Calibur. Oh, uh, where are we here? Ms. Tizzle, hey, Daddy Jim, thought uh, thoughts on the SPLC implosion? I haven't seen that. I will take a look. Tiny little man, Adam is a cuck. Ryan M., thanks for the black pills. I was getting a little too peppy lately. Lily Liver, I watched The Red Violin yesterday. It was good. Can you, re or can you recommend some more good movies real quick, Jim? Also, quick thoughts on Google Stadia. What a fucking disaster Google Stadia is. <laughs> yeah. I could talk about Google Stadia, sure. Let's talk about Google's entry into the fucking video game console market. So they do this presser, right? Where they're going to unveil the next the next evolution of gaming. Oh, we've gone beyond what's uh, you know available now. We're not even talking about digital distribution. We're going to stream that shit. It's going to make multiplayer so much more of an experience. You're going to have so many more people participating in matches instead of having your, you know, uh, your client side send off the information to a, a central server and then that gets sent out to all the players. Everything is streamed. All the information is streamed to each individual person, making it so much easier to handle. But the lag on the thing is shit. The internet requirement is going to keep a lot of people out of being able to use it. You know, uh, what was it? Digital Foundry, a couple other people did tests on it. There are videos up on Twitter of people trying it in-house to see what the streaming is like. And there's crazy fucking delay of you hit a button and you wait two seconds. I, I What the fuck? I hate this push towards getting rid of ownership of the stuff that you want to purchase. You know, I, I know that's ironic from a guy that owns a Steam account and doesn't technically own the shit, but just owns licenses to use it. But it feels like the home console market was kind of like the last bastion of ownership in video games. And this push now into it to not even make a digital distribution where you're downloading a game from the arcade or the fucking Xbox store or PSN or whatever, but you're, you're streaming it. So if Google pulls the plug, you're completely fucked. <laughs> you get nothing. Your internet goes down. You get nothing. You have a connection and it's laggy as fuck. And they're not even the first ones to do it. Uh, who the on live? I believe tried it out back two or three years ago, with equally bad results. But the presser event was a joke. They didn't show anything. I mean, they talked about the concept. They showed the controller. They announced that Jade from Jade's game is going to make another game, and we all love those games because Jade made them. Uh, but you know, aside from that, what did they show? They didn't show anything. It was a lot of talk without any l real delivery. So I don't fucking know. You know, they're comparing uh, fucking kazigawatts and teraflops and all these fancy fucking terms and shit that I'll be honest, I don't fucking understand. But they're comparing the numbers like they used to do back in the day with bits. And oh my god, you know, it, uh, the GPU is much more powerful than Xbox One X. Well, not much more, but it's above Xbox One X. But not by a huge margin. And if Xbox One X, you know, Xbox and PlayStation have a new console coming out, 
it's just going to leapfrog over Stadia. I mean, fuck, even Nintendo Switch has a new iteration, two new iterations coming out of their handheld. So, I, I don't know. I don't think it's a good strategy for the market, and I hope people don't go for it, because it's just, it's weird. You should be able to own the shit you buy. I mean, I get their idea. We want a Netflix of gaming. I understand that. But nothing about it appeals to me in really any way where I'd be like, yeah, I want that. Yeah, that that's something I'm interested in. It'll be fun to watch it explode in their face, though. I mean, it didn't work out for OnLive. I can't imagine it's going to work out for Google. Uh, Gamer for Christ 07, have you played Devil May Cry 5 yet? Yes, I have. A uh, fun game. Captain Weeb 56, what's up, Jim? It's good to see you, mate. Chase L, gamers rise up. Re from the GGG HHT. At the very end, or at the very least, Poland isn't 100% completely cucked. Larry Banks, do you think we'll get a Subscribestar account? Or do you think you'll get a Subscribestar account? And what do you think of the site? Is it really all that good? Well, any competition is good. I know Subscribestar exists as an alternative to Patreon. I know Dick Masterson has created uh, his own alternative to Patreon. So it's nice to have them out there, I suppose. Um, I, I don't know how they are. I haven't used any of them. I'm not really planning on using any of them. Uh, you know, I've got a Patreon account, and I don't really see the need to have more than that. I mean, I, I have lost a fairly large amount of uh, patrons. One, just because I'm, I'm lazy, of course. But uh, two, a lot of the messages were they were very upset with Patreon uh, for the Sargon thing, uh, or they were followers of, like, Peterson or Ruben. And when they left, uh, they went with them. Uh, but, you know, I guess at the end of the day, any fucking viable alternative is good. It's why I like Streamy. It's why I like Vidme. Uh, it's why I think Gab has a purpose. Uh, so if you want to do that on the financial side of it, I good luck. I, I don't know how... It's pretty tenuous. If those payment processors or the banks or whoever doesn't like you, you're, you're fucked. I, there's, I don't know what to tell you. I just know that... There's a lot of backroom financial stuff going on with a lot of platforms right now uh, where it's not even necessarily the platform that's pushing things, but the financial institutions that work with the platforms that are basically saying do this or else. Uh, it happened with BitChute. Uh, it happened with... Um, uh, what the fuck was it? Uh, there, there are like two other examples. I can't think of them off the top of my head where a, a credit card company or a bank stepped in and said no. And so Patreon had to bend the knee, or PayPal had to bend the knee. It's really weird shit. Uh, let's see where we are. From B Tim, we need Mandar to lead Gamergate three. Nick Pillars, something about the Johnsons soon. You know, we could watch that. I might do a stream sometime where we watch something about the Johnsons. I still have to fix the audio because the version I watched was terrible. From Cy Brav, you are the air I breathe. From Willa, aka Bloody Legend, Yang Yang twenty twenty, have some super berries. Gay Gnome. Anime has started the Weeb Wars. Jump on the bandwagon. You know, I... <laughs> the Weeb Wars. I, I made some post, I'd say, like, seven months ago, where I said, uh, it, your anime is like your last bastion. Everything else has fallen to pieces. And I got so much shit for that. And now all this VA stuff is happening. And it's just... Uh, I just want a hobby. Just give me a, a fucking hobby that I can do where I'm left to myself. Why do they always have to push their way into the hobbies? Uh, Mega Killer X, can you import some pew pews over to Europe? Might consider starting a black market. Best of luck. Memorial Squad, frick you to heck, Mr. Mediocracy. From Tactical Boomerism, Redditor finds out he's been sleeping with his half-sister for two years. Google R. Tifu dating my half-sister, 23 and me. <laughs> what made them decide to get a genetics test? And why would they use 23 and me? I already think it's weird enough that companies like Google want to have my fucking social security number, phone number, address, date of birth, full name. But then you find out the person that runs 23 and me is related to Susan Wojak or whatever her name is, the person that runs YouTube. Because <laughs> I don't, it's like this one family wants to gather all the information, my biographical data and my medical data, not interested in using 23andMe. Mike's content, no one goes to Bitwave, it's run by Notorious Dockingsburg 
Fapspatch? It is probably a doxing site itself. It is also horrible. Xander Z Rant Z versus Dick DBF Z when? And have you played DMZ5 and, of course, Shadows Die twice? Yep, I played both of them. And, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I might talk to Nick about on the 40K stream. Tag218, daily reminder that everything wrong with the world today is Woodrow Wilson's fault. <laughs> well, maybe Woodrow Wilson should have kept his fucking mouth shut like Calvin Coolidge did. If he talked less, we wouldn't be in so much trouble. But no, he's got to be Mr. One World Order. We all can get along. Diversity is our strength. Let's hold hands and make the world a better place. Good going, Woodrow. Should have shut the fuck up. Son of Tiamat, glad you're back, you child-grooming monster, still waiting patiently for you to do a series on the skeptics and make them spurg even more. From James Beatnik, a hamster chooses, a black man obeys, and the EU support Hampshire. Hart, take the furries behind the shed, not the institution. One-eared rabbit productions, are you ever going to continue your series making fun of mass shooters like Cold Steel Cruise? Uh, potentially. I don't know. Things are tenuous as fuck. Monkey Jones got uh, catapulted off the site for doing uh, shooter vids. Uh, and his were humor. He wasn't supporting them. He was making fun of them, basically. But uh, he got fucking shit kicked hard. From Charles Sammons, that poop-eating furry story made me think of Dylan Redwine, whose dad often caused him... Wait whose dad offed him because he caught him eating shit and lipstick and a diaper? Uh, please tell me this is something we can look up. <laughs> no! There's a news story about it? Okay. I think we need to read this. Oh, one second, chat. I'm pulling this up. Mark Redwine ple er, pleads not guilty in son's death. This is from the end of 2017, December 14th. A father accused of killing his own son appeared in court Friday where he pleaded not guilty. Back in December, attorneys representing, er, representing him asked for more time to examine thousands of documents tied to the case. Mark Redwine is charged with killing his 13-year-old son, Dylan, after he disappeared in southwestern Colorado in November 2012. He denied any involvement in his son's death. Last April, he had a motions hearing in court where he had an arraignment set for Friday. Redwine, 55, was originally fighting extradition when he was arrested in Washington. Yeah, but where does it tell us why? Okay, his, his remains were found in a forest. From the start, he maintained his innocence. How could you do that to your own son? Okay, why? It's got to say it in here somewhere. No, they're not talking. There's Okay, we're, we're going to have to... I, I need to hear this. Okay. Prosecutors believe they have a motive. Let's find out what the motive is. Prosecutors believe they have a motive in the murder case against Mark Redwine, who is accused of killing his 13-year-old son, Dylan, in November of 2012. According to court documents, the prosecution team... Uh, attorney Christian Champagne, lovely name, said tension existed between father and son, which was the ultimate motive for the murder. Uh, more specifically, prosecutors said Dylan planned to confront his father about compromising photographs of Mark. Prosecutors have mentioned the compromising photographs in the past without ever describing the contents, but they have never publicly linked the photos directly to the motive for the homicide. One motion seeks to introduce statements Dylan made to family and friends prior to his death. For example, Dylan's older brother, Corey, can testify that Dylan requested his brother send him the compromising photos so he could confront his father with them during a visit. Wait, did I misread the super chat? Was it the poop eating furry story made me think of Dylan Redwine, whose dad offed him because he got eating or caught eating poop and lipstick in a diapers. Are we sure dad wasn't the one in lipstick and a diapers eating shit? Because it's, it's, uh, I'm not, I'm not seeing it. Maybe the, maybe the press doesn't want to talk about a child eating shit and lipstick and having his father shoot him. Another mystery that we can put right alongside messy tales. Farrah Owen, gym streams are fun. Thanks, big boss. Zenith, speaking of furries, you hear about them blowing up Square Enix because of their gender locked new races coming out. Uh, no, no, actually I haven't. Alu Katbar, Katala is great. 
Chase L. Rip, messy tales, you died doing what you loved. Eating shit. Angela, or Angel. Angel Rivera. Jim Check, messy tales, media. Crap picks, literally. Faz, this man is we need to clean the streets of India. Shiva darling, EU goes to shit. Furries eat it. Nonyo Biss. Hey, Jim, do you know what happened? SBCC, I'm missing those calls. Uh, yeah, for those unaware, SBCC, Southern Poverty Call Center, was a prank uh, prank call stream that was up on Streamy. Uh, pretty fantastic stuff. Really funny. He'd like to f he'd fuck with different businesses and people, and it was good stuff. Uh, after that went down, he I think he had somebody start him a website to do the streams, but I, I haven't really kept up with it. Again, another show that was good that got uh, shit kicked when the site folded. Uh, no, no, Biss. Oh, no, that's the one I read. Bitcoin assassin. No, the feeder did it. He got off, or he gets off on kink and a furry dies eating excrement. Medicare Fembot, it's nice to see you back to streaming. Jimmy Dog, Europe should <laughs> should collectively off themselves. Harsh words. Larry Banks, why does this happen? Mad Clock, Jim wants on check X hamster. Jimmy Dolan, greetings from Sweden, Stan. This is a down or a down payment on that nuke. We need it bad. Yeah, Jimmy Dolan. It is your fault the internet is fucked in Europe. Your people did this. And I don't think any other European should ever let you get away with it. They should always remind you of what you have done. From Roger Smith, did all those white soldiers fight the German brothers and die so granddaughters can get blacked and sons turn to women? Well, this is the future they bought. I miss Unser Salgar Aldov. <laughs> okay. Valtor Alucard, shout out to my best buddy, Darkside Phil. James Pesto, see my last donation. My net dropped. Check Facebook DMs. What? At this point, I'll take a Chinese takeover of, over this Orwellian garbage. Maybe they'll have a reformist president or some shit. In the meantime, at least I can laugh at the Europeans. Feels good, man. I, yeah. I, I don't know what to tell you. Everything has gone tits up. It is depressing. I wish I could find more about Messy Tales. I'd like to end on a high note. I'd like to talk about a man that died from eating shit, but apparently that's not going to happen. Is that what the appeal is? Somebody saying YouTube Premium allows background play and temporary download of videos? Blocks ads, but content creators still get money. Well, you can... There are websites that let you download directly from YouTube. There are also plugins that do that. Uh, ad block blocks ads. As far as background streaming, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm guessing you're a mobile user, and maybe that's a big thing, but I usually watch YouTube videos on, like, uh, the PC or a television. You know, like, stream it from a game console and watch whatever the fuck I'm going to watch. So, background play is not, like, a big feature for me. I, I don't know. I, I still don't get it. You could do it for free, is what I'm saying. Maybe maybe it's a maybe that background play is really instrumental. I, I don't know. Uh, Haley Pilot forty seven. Only good thing to come from Article eleven thirteen is that K will finally be free from Eurofags. Ninja Breadman, the EU wants Google and YouTube gone so they can fund the establishment state sponsored media. They can control the data and keep desirables or I'm sorry undesirables out as desired. Yeah, it's about control and getting you to uh, consume what they want you to consume and push you away from the content that might shake your opinion or make you look at a different thing. Um, it's depressing. Lunatic Thinker, is your stream EU compliant? Do I have to have a license? I actually don't know what's going to happen. Again, over the course of the next two years, this is going to be implemented. I'm not 100% certain how many are going to comply with it or to what extent, but I guarantee you some will fully comply and go all the way with it. And... I think a lot of companies are going to want to avoid the headache and they'll probably take YouTube's lead, which seems to be segregation. I, I don't know if that means you'll have like a variant of YouTube just for you or if you're banned completely. Uh, but it is not going to be pleasant, I would imagine. Tyler Knox, yo, Jim, one good thing uh, happening is Vic is getting back invited to the cons. Ironically enough, the accusers are bitching out now. Uh, who saw that coming? Dan Simpson, Americans, please send porn care packages. Backsfire, have you read the protocols of the learned elders of Zion? Aren't you supposed to tell me to read Siege? <laughs> Doc Window Licker, the answer is the pendulum always swings back dystopian times ahead, Fwend, but hell, I'm ready for the live enactment 
of 1984. You're Elevian. We shall form a brotherhood, download the entire internet, and share it via hard drives. Gap Gekado. We need to make them regret all the damage they're doing. Dewey666, what about those uh, who have always been ghosts online? I don't know. A lot of people like to post anonymously. I, I do. Uh, whether that's you're doing it on an image board or you're on social media but you're under a fake handle. I really think the next big push will be Real ID. And I think the governments that implement it or the online service providers that demand it. Um, I, I, probably in the next five years. I, I legitimately could see five to ten years Real ID being a thing. Where whatever account you make is always tied back to your actual identity. And that identity can be looked up by any site that you go to. And that identity is provided by your ISP. Uh, so, so there's not like an extra layer of protection. There's no court needed. There's no warrant needed. I think that's going to strip it away from people that even consider themselves ghosts. Uh, you know, oh, well, Tor, VPNs, and all this shit. I don't know. They'll find some way to fuck you on that, too. Don't they always? Uh, Vizix. The people calling for war are the minority. A majority of uninformed, ignorant, are complacent, accepting of any change because they're content or content now. My killers are my zombie killers. Gen Z is screwed. Both uh, are screwed. Born into literally 1984. From Nick Thibodeau in Canada, a guy had his property broken into, and he shot and killed two of the guys breaking in, wounded the third. He's been charged with second degree murder. What a clusterfuck, Captain. Queems, today is a good day to not be European. Scratch that. Every day is a good day not to be European. Uh, we know that's factually correct. D Diego Spinola, hey, at least we'll have a great time together in room 101. From Brett, if people want an alternative to things like the kill stream, check out Owen Benjamin. He's been banned from Alex Jones for calling out the Jews. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Let me know. Let me let me see if I've got this right. Is it Owen Benjamin, the dude that went on to the Red Elephants, because he calls out the Jews? Didn't he go on to the Red Elephants on a stream with them and talk about his Jewish grandma? <laughs> you know, there's this one clip of Millennial Woes. I can't remember who the girl was, but like they're having a conversation. And he really likes her, and then she says something like, "I'm a fourth generation Holocaust survivor." And he gets this look on his face where he's like, did I, did I hear what they just said? <laughs> it's the same thing with Owen Benjamin. He's out there talking about it. He's like, yeah, my Jewish grandma. And they, they all get this look on their face. It's fucking priceless. Uh, I wish I, I wish I knew what episode that was. Uh, somebody was like, oh, you should check him out. He's on, you know, he's on this podcast and I, I went and watched it and I, <laughs> I had a good chuckle. Ah, oh, Lord of Smore, class the world and start over Fallout 4 style. Minute bomb or minute world bomb Israel. Roadside pl or picnic. I can only hope my children will see a world that isn't completely ruined. And don't we all? The memes of destruction tell the truth. Larry Banks, do you think YouTubers are going to be more left to be or more to the left to be able to stay on the platform that they even don't fully agree with? But it has to be so they don't get deplatformed. Yeah, you're gonna be have to eating. Sh you're gonna have to eat shit and smile, essentially. Yep. Sword and scale. I say what I want online. That's probably why I don't have a job. You know, I, I like the mentality. You know, again, two to three years, five tops, five to ten years for the real ID. I I don't know. I I don't look forward to. It. I, let's say by 2030. By 2030, the internet's going to be just unrecognizable compared to what it is now and what it has been. From Anders Pack, uh, fuck the world, as what happens there doesn't affect me. The internet will still be the same in the U.S. It's only horrible elsewhere. All right. I think that brings me up for the past ones. Let me hit the more recent ones, and we'll uh, we'll end, end our stream. Uh, as I said, I do have a video coming up. Uh, it should be up Friday or Saturday. I, I don't know if I'm going to do streams. I like streaming because it let me do what I wanted to do. I can't really do that over on YouTube. Uh, maybe maybe I'll do Funday or Sunday Fundays. I, I don't know. I'm not really a... Uh, 
if I don't have a lot of control and I, we can't watch what I want to, like you could never watch a horse fucking documentary on YouTube. I mean, they're not actually fucking the horses, but it's about the horse fucking lifestyle. Uh, and a lot of the jokes you want to tell wouldn't fly over here. So, you know, that's one of the downsides to having YouTube, but <laughs> maybe we can find a workaround. I don't know. Okay, from Son of T or Timit, their face when you're speaking to an oven dodger. Dolmio Grin, listening to this stream while playing Sekiro is the best. P.S. You don't even or you can't even beat Jews of the Drunkard. Get good, you shit. See you next Tuesday. From Mike Thomas, Firefox and Android allows free background play. If you're up on PC and can't figure it out, kill yourself now. From Neg G Quantum, Donga wants on check your smoke signals. <laughs> Ninstar Rune, Jim, if anyone ever told you, you sound like the Postal Dude. Not a bad person to sound like. Postal's a great game. Match Burn, Europe, Proof America nuked the wrong continent. From Zykai, as a trucker, YouTube Premium is a godsend. Drive 10 hours a day, can't listen to podcasts and music all day from my phone. Or I can at, oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I figured it was mobile users. Uh, Roger Smith, based reincarnated Fall Schmager. Reporting in, reminding you that all the noble 14 Wolf 88 would not have tolerated shit-eating, animal-abusing furries. Turbo, I think you missed my previous super chat. I, I'm sorry if I did. Bring Yeet, I used Red for background play with no ads at work. The Stampede 89 bought an, uh, about one hour behind. If the Brits all become furries, is it still porn? Just rampant bestiality. <laughs> I'm not sure what you'd classify it as. Random asshole. I think the only person actually coming out on top from the whole Article 13 is DSP. He can finally take down all the detractors. I couldn't... I don't know what... God, you know, I miss DSP. He's kind of like a constant on the internet. Right? He's a he's a total fuck-up. And he does really dumb shit. But DSP will always be DSP. He's just... He's very reliable in that. Like, hearing new DSP-related news will be the same as hearing any news related to DSP for the past 10 years. I need to pay more attention to DSP. I've fallen out of doing that, and I think it would probably give me a little bit of happiness to watch that bumbling dipshit just do dumb stuff on the daily. Roadkill Phil, look up Dylan Redwine Lipstick for the story. All right, you know, let's do that. Let's see if we can find about the kid that got shot by his dad because he was eating shit while wearing <laughs> while wearing lipstick. Okay, here we go. Channel 7 in Denver, uh, good old Denver ABC News is going to give us the details about a boy that eats shit. Thank you. Thank you, ABC. All right, here we go. Dylan Redwine's brother details disgusting photos they saw of father Profiler help detectives. All right, let's see what we got here. A former FBI profiler who reviewed the Dylan Redwine murder investigation helped lead police to the arrest of the 13-year-old's father, and the boy's brother say they saw lewd photos of their father involved in bizarre acts before Dylan went missing. Mark Redwine was arrested Saturday in Washington State on felony charges of second-degree murder and child abuse relating, uh, resulting in death. He will be held for a million dollars bail. All right, let's see if we can find out what the pictures are. We're talking about a guy that's probably a registered psychopathic narcissist. He thinks he's smarter than everyone else. I simply wanted to look at everything I could look at and try to figure out who did this. And it was an uh, inescapable conclusion that it was Mark, the father. All right, Corey Redwine saw disgusting photos of dad in lewd situations. Uh, what were the photos? Come on. Oh, I've seen the photos, Corey said. It shows him wearing women's clothing and makeup and a diaper and then eating his shit from the diaper. It was disgusting. You wouldn't believe it. Okay. So the older brother comes across photos of their dad dressed as a woman in makeup, eating shit from a diaper. And the younger brother says, can you get me copies of the picture? I want to use them to fuck with dad. And when dad finds out that the sons have pictures of him eating shit from diapers while dressed like a woman, he shoots his son in the head. 
I want to show you a picture of this kid. He's got this kid has the best smirk in the world. I want you I want you to imagine this kid walking up to his father and saying, "I know what you do, dad. I know you eat shit." That's the kid. Look at that smile. That's the kid. He probably had that smile on his face when he went up to his father and said, "Hey. Hey, what do you think of these photos?" I bet she looks awfully familiar. Ha, huh, Dad. Remember when I wanted that bike and he told me we couldn't afford it? Be a real shame if Mom saw these. You know, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm such a good student, Dad, that maybe you should buy me a fucking Xbox One. What do you think? Huh, champ? Wouldn't want Mom to see those pictures of you eating shit, would you? <laughs> that, might, that might result in some marital stress, Dad. And then his dad pulls out a shotgun and shoots him in the head. I'm going to give him an A for effort. He really went for the gold on that one. <laughs> but he probably should have realized if his dad was insane enough to eat shit from a fucking diaper while dressed up like a woman in makeup, he's probably crazy enough to kill you for exposing that. But yes, that's a very Chad grin, Chad. Uh, Kyle G., hey, did you know Terry A. Davis died? Here's money. Uh, yep, we... God, we talked about Terry dying, I'd say, five months back. I uh, got hit by a train. Uh, it sucks. But he's in heaven now. He's in heaven, and God has given him the thumbs up and said, you did Temple OS perfectly. Exactly to my specifications. Andrew M. Shepard, son of Teamet, how unsurprising you degenerate neat. Son of Teamet again. I'm also a vorophile. Andrew M. Shepard, daily reminder, son of Teamet is a furry. Dark Chaos Renamon, thank you for the years of content, Jim. You are still fantastic. Recommend me an oldie but a goodie game I should pick up and play. I, I don't know what systems you have access to. Uh, go pick up Brigandine. It's a bit spendy. I, I, I guess it's probably around 100 bucks. Uh, but it's pretty fucking fun. Central Happenings Network, take my shekels. How do small channels like mine survive the grasp of Susan Wojak? Stuck at 7.2 thousand. YouTube shenanigans rip St. Nism or Nassim. I, I don't know. A, a lot of the little guys are going to get fucked, which, again, really sucks. Uh, Lily Liver, Jim, you forgot the quick movie recommendations. I have not seen any good movies in a long fucking time. Um... I'm, I'm trying to think of something that would be entertaining to watch, and I, I legitimately can't think of anything. I've stuck mostly to watching fucking anime and YouTube videos. I've, like, fallen out of the habit of watching television shows and movies, to be honest with you. A lot of the stuff that comes out of Hollywood is just pure shit. And even the people that I have hope for, uh, that I think can do, like, good stuff, uh, end up disappointing. Uh, what was it? Peel came out with the movie Us. I was actually really looking forward to that. Like, the, the, the aesthetic... Uh, the environment, like the feeling of the movie looked good. It looked like it'd be a good horror movie. And then you find out the twist at the end. And you're like, dude, come the fuck on. Really? And it's just, yeah, I just, I got nothing for you. I'm sorry. Uh, DK, or CK2000, you ever played a Shin Megami Tensei game? There are JRPGs, I think, either the series. Yeah, I played them before. Uh, yep. Punish Creepworks, Jim. You need to go. You need to back up all your games on cassette. Power Cage KOP has been unbanned from Kiwi Farms. So you finally get to get those outlines from Josh, from the Crapola. There's no democratic solution. It's a sham. S X or S X S. Will Medicare in the morning ever return? Um, no, probably not. I I can't do over here what I could do over there. I may potentially stream on the weekends. Maybe, maybe. Well, maybe like once or twice a month. I I don't know. I, I really don't. Eric Navali, rip Dami Peso's Twitter account. You will be missed. He got banned on Twitter? Uh, let me see here. Uh, are you sure it's a... Oh, holy shit, he did get suspended. Did Matt finally get him? What happened to him? Uh, Foxman2248, do you ever plan on doing something big like that guy with the glasses series? Uh, no. No, currently I don't have anything like that in the plans. Dirty D disagrees. Jim, I posted a limerick about merchants earlier, but I didn't hear you read it. Was it deleted? I have a lot of... There are a lot of super chats that have gone through that don't have any message attached. 
I don't know if that's because people aren't attaching messages or if YouTube is censoring them or something. I know that they're, like at certain times YouTube is taking shit off in the normal chat. Uh, people, if you go to live chat or top chat, sometimes a Google moderator will come in and remove your messages. And I know after the New Zealand shootings, they've fucked with the search engine and the algorithm for sorting by date. So I, I don't know if they're doing something. Like if you're making limericks or if you're talking about stuff related to shooting, maybe that's what they're pulling. Uh, the Violent Delinquent. Is Vidme still a thing? What other channels on other platforms do you have that you're not told us about? Oh, uh, patio Furniture. I uh, know Vidme is gone. Uh, they couldn't afford they couldn't afford to keep going. Like it was gaining momentum, but they just didn't have the money to keep it going. 12, 15, 97. Luke, OnLive was my only way to play modern video in middle school. OnLive got bought up by Sony for the PSN Now architecture. Graph von Tyrell, Subscribe Star is fine. They found a way to get around the banking meddling. Noble Richards, hey Jim, gonna try Division 2. It's pretty good. Uh, no, I'm not really into Division. So, Wargame 341, if you can get an old school RPG uh, HD release, which one would you choose? Legends of Dragoon or Xenogears? Oh, Xenogears, hand down. Or hands down, Xenogears. Captain Weeb 56, Dick Masterson for president. Alu Katbar, Cat Allah is great. Death to the infidels. Mariner 1712, I haven't watched Western media since 2015. I'm happy with 40 year old. Japanese men in spandex and rubber with questionable prosthetics. Thank you very much. My dog is going ape shit. Uh, Chase L, you don't need to fight the drunk guy yet. You can save him for later. The whole area is optional. You get the first uh, real boss soon after the... <laughs> Ava, will you shut the fuck up? Uh, real soon. Okay. Chuck is the god. Take my shekels. Big Country Jim, what about BitChute for streaming? It claims to be decentralized platform with no censorship. Maybe worth a look. Or BitTube, I'm sorry, not shoot. I've not tried it before, not heard of it. Uh, I'll take a look, I guess. Babek Nam, I want to be Gerald of Rivia, running around a Polish woods, killing Neckers. Ivan Chesnobriki, daily reminder, death to Belagis. This message was paid for by the Ocean Federation. The raging majority, I swear to God, Ava, this fucking dog. The raging major majority, Jim, do you think Japan will be the last uncut country in the world? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what to tell you. Yes, chat. Yes, chat. Uh, <laughs> Jade is making dinner. That's why the dog is barking. You got me. Nailed it. We know what's up. Uh, True Seeking Missile, you've reached Rob. Please leave a message after the beep. Mr. Merep. How do you feel about Ghost True Capitalist Radio? I wish people got what the bit was, because it feels like so many people that watch Ghost or True Capitalist Radio are so fucking new to it, they don't understand exactly what they're dealing with. It's really weird, to be honest. I, I think if you've been around for more than a few years, you would have you would know who that is and what the whole thing about it is. But it feels like a lot of people don't get it. It's really, it's weird. And I don't want to ruin it by talking about it. So that's why you don't hear me talk about it. Uh, Cal Ten Bach, remember when everyone spouted that Europe was forward thinking about sex? Now Muslims are censoring gays and jack off permits are required. Ha. Huh. Sean Korshall, Bonds, you for removing my messages. I love paying $10 for no reason. AR76, Jim, read my previous super chats, you Niger. You missed them. Has something uh, to end the stream on a fun note? Search Red Pill Rundown on BitChute. Turn not safe for work off and show chat Kiwi stranger. I have a feeling that's you're trying to trick me. Uh, Kermit Cujo, no pupper for supper, Jim. All right. History buff 97 after Sargon loses his battle for political office. Maybe he can still serve British politicians at state functions in his Appleby suit. VAWBC carry. Take my shekels and my soul. Any update on the underwater hamster guy? Uh, yeah, he's still making his videos. If you go look at his YouTube channel, he's got a lot of updates about what he's going to do. Uh, his Patreon's going well. Uh, his project's going well. Linked up different habitats, talking about the materials he's purchasing. I think he got his car repaired. Just a whole bunch of stuff going on. A America, plebs need to install new pipe app. It's YouTube Red. Son of Tmet, dog fried rice. Delicious. 
Mariner1712, note on Mesh Networking, Q&I realized that they paused Linux in order to prevent this. No open source equals backdoor software and hardware up your ass. Char Lika Chuck, somehow after all this, DSP will still survive. Yes, he will. Jonathan English, Jim, you also missed my earlier super chat, you blind boomer potato nagger. Um, <laughs> Lost Glitter Freeze, look up how to cook Krabby Patties era Mika. The Orange Cow Sekiru is the shit. Keep at it. Learning to deflect is key. I know that's the key to beating the game and doing well at it, but I still run around like a spastic retard, unaware of what the fuck my timing should be. Mojave Booth, stay tuned for more uh, Bitwave.tv when it's ready. It's currently being built feature by feature by a streamy expat. Any content you think is uh, of is allowed. New Zealand police already sent a takedown. From AR76, God damn it, Jim, it's a song. It's fine to play. Mother Superior, I remember you when you were the internet historian. Pray that someone in the U realizes there's a PC pull up their butt that needs to be removed. Keep up the awesome content. Yes, I was the internet historian. You've got me. That Goomba, ever heard of the YouTuber named Internet Aristocrat? I think you two would get along great. By the way, I got Metro because of you and I love it. Never heard of him. And it is a great game. Some fool take my money, you fool, and thanks for the content. Bro, through loop background and play no ads. Good for listening to YouTube at work. Captain Mercury, you missed my super chat. I do not know why I'm missing these. For some, uh, let's see here. Jack Powell, wasn't Ghost Radio part of BWC Blog Talk Raids? And Kermit Cujo, I can't wait for the EU citizens to start sending carrier pigeons to deliver their furry OCs and unwanted boomer political opinions. Can't we all? Yeah, one of the nice uh, setups about Stream.me is the way they organize this shit. It was much easier to sort through. I, I don't know. Man, YouTube is a mess when it comes to the back end. Josh Sketch Show, were you into G1 Bionicles at all? Or were you too... I was too old for that. No, I was not into G, <laughs> G1 Bionicles. B-Row, YouTube Premium is the only way to listen to YouTube videos and the app minimized. Yes, I'm the person that pays $9 a month, so YouTube will unbreak app. Booty bad at Take My Super Chat Cherry Daddy. Zimzam, not sure if this is your kind of thing, but you should check out Christian Hanna Reviews. He's a sped and is my girlfriend's brother. AR76, check my previous Super Chat Jimbo. It'll cheer you up. Funny song from Poll about Kiwis and Aussies. Press S to spit on Europores. From Rusky Disco, I'm Jim and I eat Boomer Booty. Jim, because I'm our word. Larry Banks, speaking of furries, what do you think of Rags as looking... As while looking on Kiwi Farms, there's a ton of furry porn that he's into. And from the dumb stuff he does. I don't actually watch Rags or really know much about him, to be honest with you. Sir Boyne Voyage, Jimbo, battle me in Smash, or you're a Nignog. And Edward Barney's Clown World Now. My voice is going to die on me. I need to find a super chat solution. So I'm not, I'm not, you know, a balance somehow. I had a nice system worked out at Streamy. If I do streams over here, I'm going to have to rework that to make it work. This, again, was mostly a spur-of-the-moment thing to have a little bit of fun laughing at Europe. Turbo, missed two of my Super Chats. Read some, and it's censored. I don't know if you're joking and you've done that or if uh, if YouTube has done that. Larry Banks, you missed you missed by $10 Super Chat. I do not... I don't know if you guys are fucking with me or if the system is fucking with me. Birds in Motion update. They sent me home early so I can watch. Okay, no, that, that caught me up. I really do not... I'm not sure where the fuck they are. Uh, let me scroll down here. Try not to miss these. You guys are sending them. I'll try to read them. The Vile Delinquent. We should uh, we should pull all our money by Pitcairn Island and start our own country called Sweetie Land. Here's what you should do. There's a country out there called Tonga. And its military is like 30 guys. I'm not making this up. It's got like 30 dudes. That's its entire military. And maybe like 90,000 people that live there. You could take it by force. I don't think Tonga could oppose you if you showed up with at least 40 guys. Controller stop. We won't have to worry about online lag anymore once the internet bans itself in the future. And Roy Gordon, Europe, no good. And let me see if I can find these here. I'm, I'm not seeing them. Oh, can I get a CX in the chat, boys? Scammed. Oh, Jimbo is scamming people up in here. What the fuck? 
It's all true. Sc scuff Steve Jobs. Scuff Steve Jobs is writing my scripts now. Oh, you didn't see it happening, but it's happening. Uh, Plex Storm, I didn't. Okay. So people are asking what happened to Plex Storm. Um, the thing with Plex Storm was they want photo ID and they want a bunch of other like identity verification shit that you have to send them copies of. And I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not going to Plex Storm and sending them a fucking driver's license and birth certificate and all this other weird shit. I get it. They have to have that because you've got a bunch of chicks streaming their tits there and they don't want to have some fucking 16 year old try to sneak in and do it. And then they get accused of child porn. Uh, let's see, Sean Hurikai missed my chat as well. Oh, CX in the CX in the house, boys, scamming everybody tonight. Roy Gordon, oy vey, I didn't see the super chats, goy. Oh, never trust an Irishman. How do you think we got that pot of gold to stick under the rainbow? Lurik L, you missed like three of mine, you greasy grabbler. Terrible. Terrible. What am I doing? Okay, uh, I'm seeing that. Moving through here. All right. I think, you know what I think it is, guys? I think you need to donate double the amount to make it show up. I know it's crazy. I think if you if <laughs> if you donate double the amount, it'll come through. Let's test that theory out. Uh, controller stop. YouTube is the new st <laughs> Steve shives and deletes all the super chats during live streams. Okay, did I read this one? Radoski? Off topic, but I really catch you live. Found the website called tetherproducts.com. It's got an archive of this dude talking about how he likes to dominate his dick. A lot of not safe for work content, but the crazy is worth it. I've never heard of that before. Uh, let's see. Please, okay, you want me to say this? Okay. Happy birthday, Welshie. There you go. That's right. It's like Bernie Bros. You need to match me. Damon Darwin, any updates on Kiro? And Trolita, pee pee poo poo. Michael, T <laughs> that wasn't a serious recommendation, guys. Michael Tone, did you hear Davis Arini joined a cult? He's gone crazy and streams on Twitch now. I have no idea that he joined a fucking cult. Rusky Disco, hello from Russia. Please stop your global homo agenda. We recently caught emails of American officials trying to push that here. I was unaware that there was a global homo agenda being pushed on Russia. Kermit Cujo, this message was deleted by a Google moderator. I told you. I told you. It's not that I'm a blind drunk. It's all Google's fault. From Turbo. Okay, now bring up... <laughs> what are you trying to say? Sword and Skills, what will Naked Martin do now? Have you heard of him? Look up the Twitter, Twitter for masturbation purposes? Who the fuck is Naked Martin? Oh, they're actually... Okay, well, let's see what this is. What the fuck is this? I got to make sure. I'm not screen sharing. All right. Oh, it's, is this this? Why have you sent me to a fucking Twitter account of an old dude jacking off? Why is all his content him with his dick out? And you're right. He's totally fucked. I, I, I don't know what he's going to do. Well, actually, I don't know if you can copyright content somebody's dick. He might be safe. He might be the only person from the UK that can still fucking do stuff on the internet. Because it's literally him rocking out with his cock out. A repost, Sekiro is amazing, even though I suck ass at it. Stuck on 8Boss. Also, I wish Streamy had background play. I, w I wish Streamy still existed. It's fucking dead and gone. Steph Dev. Jim, less Karkoff and Sigs and more reading them super chats, you greasy grabbler. Oy vey, potato nagger. Shout out the punished kitty via Twitter, lull. Larry Banks. What do you think of Rags? I was looking on a Kiwi Farms on him and saw all the furry porn he was into. Like how he commissioned dog porn of his avatar? And has a Fur Affinity account and an E21 account of more porn. Yeah, I'm, and Rags is probably the least... The, the I, I know he's like a skeptic, but he's the one I paid the least attention to. But no, I'm not shocked that there'd be a Fur Affinity and E21 account. Jab S, would you eat a trash burger? Fuck no, I wouldn't. Uh, Akalos, replay Xenogears, but whenever Solaris or the Gazelle Ministry comes up, realize that they are Jews and the Japanese tried to warn us. I'm getting some flashbacks here. 
I'm getting some flashbacks to a particular anime about uh, heroes of a galactic sense and an entire planet which played the role of Jewish people and their space war opera. <laughs> the Japanese can be very direct sometimes. From Abyss Warrior, I sent two and they went through chat. All I wanted to do was crap on my country, Sweden. And the fandom, I'm in. The furries. Press G, boys. So a fur, a, a Swedish furry. A, are you? Were you part of the group that accidentally voted yes? Captain Mercury, best fighting game. Uh, what the fuck? I, I would probably go with something, a like Guilty Gear. A Guilty Gear title or King of Fighters. As far as series, I don't know if you like specific ones. I'm not 100%. Nerdbane, the EU would have been saved if only Jim did a video on JF. Need to milk those titties. John, is this enough to pay for your Crohn's disease medical bills, you disappearing tater? Uh, I know I think you need to double it, John. I think $40 is what's going to save my life. Anthony Wildman, this message was deleted by a Google Mongoloid. I don't think they're going to like that very much. Stars over Stalingrad, would you rather smash Alexandra Oskeska Cortez? Or Tulsi, Tulsi Gabbard? I don't know who Tulsi is. Uh, it's not ringing any bells. And Alexandria looks like a fucking horse. Right? That's the one with like the gums that are like five inches of gums and teeth that look like they were made out of wood. It's like she went to a fucking historical museum and stole a pair of fucking George Washington's uh, dentures and decided to wear them. Happy McFloofer, get off stream, Jimbo. You're missing the defunct land live stream. Oh, hey, it's somebody else who watches that. Defunct Land is good shit, man. I watch, uh, you know, there's another one, too. There were two accounts. Oh, let me see if I can find this here. Uh, where are we going? Up, oh, uh, and my, uh, did it just freeze up on me? Might have froze up on me. Ah, uh, there was another guy that did a lot of shit like Defunct Land does, and I was going to say his name, but now I can't find it. No, no, where is it? No oh, shit. It was good stuff. It was kind of in a similar vein, but I like those videos. Uh, Jim, do a video about Mike Bodette. He's a cunt. I will take a look at it. Merlo Williams, it's pronounced Brie Gundine, Jim. And if you heard of uh, Adonis Paul's stream, check it out. If not, also, what's the status of failures probation? Failures on probation? <laughs> I didn't know. What did he do? Uh, Neo Geo, Daddy Jim, please, I need your dick. <laughs> okay, see, now I'm just making them dirty. Daddy Jim, please, I need your hard stick right now. Please fill me up with your maple syrup. The butt is begging for your American peen to colonize it. All right, and then finally, hello. Uh, hey, Jimbo, did you see the video of Spoonie talk, or talking to the police officer after crashing his car? Yes, I did. Actually, I saw the video where they had like a head-on at the intersection. And then Spoonie's trying to be all slick about it and shit. It's like, no, no, man, everything's... Officer, everything is fine. Nothing's going on here. Now, why don't you just look away from the car accident I caused and let me tell you about how shitty Bayou Billy is. Have you ever played an NES, officer? All right, there's this fucking game called Bayou Billy that I need to go over. Uh, John, fine, fine. Here's for the next round of chemo. Also, Brigandine rules. Uh, Sean Turner, King of Fighter 2002 is the best King of Fighter for me. I also thought Ask Crimson was a 32-year-old MILF and found her cute till I, fu till I found out it was a 14-year-old boy. Uh, why? Oh, you got tricked. You were rused. Why, uh, who'd you rather bang, Darkseid Phil with a box or Cat with a 13-inch dong? Give me Phil. Shekelmeister, please, Jim, stop drinking. Er, please say, stop drinking, Ralph, you fucker. Also, is it true you are gay, Jim? Yes, Jade is my beard. You found me out. JF wants on. Check your chromosomes. <laughs> Did he confuse me being Irish and a potato for me being retarded and a potato? Narfire, here's some shekels, mate. Love your streams. Finally, moderator Marcy. Hey, Daddy Jim, so much drama, so little time. IBS Apocalypse 2, a boogaloo. No, I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, the last one was fucking awful. It was six and a half hours. Somebody else can do it. Somebody else can take the reins on that one. And sit there while people scream at each other for six and a half fucking hours. Uh, Daddy Tipples. Yo, Jim, did I miss out the poo-poo eating furry? Also, who do you think is packing bigger meat, DSP or Monday? Matt, uh, I'm going to go with DSP. All right. 
This has been a fun stream of me rating Super Chats for three and a half hours. I hope you all enjoyed that. Oh, and the ten minutes we talked about Europe. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, at least I can use a Super Chat money to buy a nice big sign and float it across the ocean that just says, Get fucked, Euro cucks. Sincerely, America. I'll make sure it's really big. Like, rent the, the Goodyear blimp and set it on a really long fucking maiden voyage across the ocean. Just so they know we're still thinking of them. Because they're not going to be able to talk to us on their internet. They're not allowed to. A King of Fighters and Guilty Gear are top tier. Hype for Sam Show. All right. Uh, thank you for joining me. I, again, if I do more streams, it'll probably be a weekend thing. It'll be more planned out than this. I just wanted to talk a little bit about Article 11 and 13 and just a lot of the shit going on. Again, did not mean for it to be a black pill, depressing stream. Sadly, it was. Because when you look at it all in context, it just sucks. But them's, them's the breaks. That's reality. And what the fuck are you going to do? You just gotta, you gotta take the hits and keep on going. And hope you pull through it, I guess. I just hate the idea that people won't be able to experience the internet we did. I think it was something that was unique. And, you know, it's just not, go it's unfortunate. Uh, the kids growing up five years, ten years, twenty years from now won't get to experience it. If you haven't been called a faggot on the internet, you haven't really lived, have you? Oh, and finally, the last Super Chat. Dirty D disagrees. I tweeted the limerick at you. Fuck you too. Okay, I will take a look at the limerick on Twitter when I get a chance. Uh, have a good one, chat. Uh, hopefully the next stream, a little more content, a little less Super Chats, but hey, I'm not complaining. Money's money. Uh, remember, if you're not European, you are superior. You're allowed to post tits and memes and they can't stop you. There's nothing they can do to stop you from enjoying some nice tits and a shitty image macro. What were you thinking, Europe? What the fuck did you do, Sweden? Absolutely unforgivable. Pathetic. Terrible. What the fuck? Everyone have a good Tuesday. Hope your week tr er, treats you well. A video should be up Friday or Saturday. And I will see you all later.